There is a chat box that I have where you guys can basically type in questions. You guys can let me know where you're at. And I want to make sure that you guys are using that because if you guys aren't using the chat box, it's literally just like I'm talking at you rather than talking with you. I want to have a good conversation. I want to chat with you and just know if you guys are asking questions at the very end of this live event today, I'm going to be answering as many questions I can possibly go through. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that every single question you have is answered because I want you guys to have everything you need in order to start to be able to implement this opportunity and make it a part of your life. And that's what I'm going to be telling you guys about today. I'm going to be telling you guys about an opportunity that I believe in a ton. And I just can't wait to show you guys what it's all about. We're, we're going to be having a lot of fun. So here's what we're talking about today. We're going to be talking about the YTA method. Now you may be saying, okay, what's the YTA method? Well, that's why you guys are on this live event right now. The YT method is the new way to profit from YouTube without being a YouTuber or even spending a dime on YouTube ads. And no, you never have to step in front of a camera. You don't have to show your face. You don't have to edit a video and you don't even have to be good at technology at all. That is the YTA method. Now, those of you guys who know about YouTube, you're saying, okay, well, isn't that everything that goes into YouTube? Well, yes, it is, but not with the YTA method. In fact, I'm actually going to be introducing you guys to, uh, to someone here shortly who has used the YTA method to actually create over 2,000 streams of income, and he has 12 more that are being added every single day. Imagine that, guys. 2,000 streams of income. But guys, if you're doing that, it's almost impossible not to actually have passive income. Now, let's start off with talking about this. Even an extreme skeptic can't deny that real people are making real money from YouTube. I mean, look at this seven-year-old kid. He's making $22 million a year playing with toys, according to Forbes. You know why? Because playing with those toys in front of the camera on YouTube. I mean, guys, if a seven-year-old can make $22 million a year playing with toys, what are the possibilities for you? You see, the number of channels that are earning six figures each year on YouTube has increased by 40% year on year. Guys, that means this opportunity is not just a fantastic opportunity, but it's a growing opportunity. Every single year, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you have the opportunity not only to take advantage of this opportunity, but to also grow with this opportunity. And the cool part is most of the channels making money don't even know about the new way that turns making money on YouTube from luck and hope into a science and formula. And that's what we're going to be chatting about today, guys. So here's what you're going to be learning during this presentation and during this live event. The first thing I'm going to share with you guys is I'm going to share with you the new way to make passive income on YouTube. And let me give you a fast hint. It's something you see every day, but don't even know exists. So I'll let your mind start getting working, wondering what that new way is. Number two, I want to be sharing with you guys how to use OPC to near guarantee virality so that you never have to rely on hope and luck. And you guys may be saying, well, Kale Maddox, what is this OPC thing? Well, guys, that's why you're on here right now. I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly what OPC is because I don't want you guys having a hope and, and you know, hope on uh, that luck will work and hope that this just kind of happens for you. I want to make sure you guys have the tools that you need, have the formula that you need in order to not just make it possible to succeed, but to make it impossible to fail because that's personally how I like to operate. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to put it all on autopilot by outsourcing and automating your channel so that your income turns into passive income. I'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, actual screenshots and case studies of my friends' channels and how much they're actually making. So I'm literally going to be pulling back the curtain, showing you guys inside the channels of my friends who are using this new way and how much money it's making them and how they're actually doing it. And you're also going to be seeing successful students who are using this formula to earn big on YouTube. You're going to be seeing actual students that are applying this, which is really, really exciting because that just shows you what's possible for you. And you're also going to be learning the new way to grow your personal brand faster than people that are spending millions of dollars on ads, which is crazy because I know so many people watching this. You guys have heard that you need to build your personal brand. Some of you guys may already have a personal brand. You want to build a personal brand and no one knows about this new way, but the people that know it, they're able to literally hit a skip button on personal branding that makes them absolutely explode and blow up. And also I want to be sharing with you guys how how to take advantage of our era's greatest opportunity so that YouTube can write your next paycheck. Guys, I'm curious. How many of you guys want YouTube to write your next paycheck? What if that could happen? Put a yes in the chat. Maybe even throw in a money emoji. Let me know. Would you guys like to hear how you can take advantage of our era's greatest opportunity? I'm also going to be sharing how to instantly increase your YouTube channel's profits by changing this one thing, even if you never upload another video. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you already have YouTube channels. And if you don't, that's totally fine. This new way is going to work unbelievably well for you. And you're just going to get to get started off the bat. But for those of you who already have YouTube channels, if you change this one thing, even if you have never upload a single video, it's going to instantly increase your YouTube channel's profits. And I'm really excited to share with you that ninja hack. You guys are going to learn a lot of like ninja secrets today. This isn't just like some theoretical stuff. We're going to be getting into the trenches of YouTube, which is exciting. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how people are making a full-time income with small, tiny, one-week-old YouTube channels and why subscribers are now irrelevant. 
with the new way. That's right. Everyone tells you you need a bunch of subscribers. Well, they don't know about the new way, and so they don't know the right way. All right, my boss is going to share with you guys how the new way turned YouTube from a kid's game into your opportunity to make true passive income using the same principles of real estate investing. Because a lot of people think YouTube is just for kids. Today, you're going to learn it very much isn't so. Now, who is this for, though? Who is this for? But I'm gonna get in that in just one second. Now with the new way, you can profit from YouTube without ever stepping in front of the camera, working insane amounts of hours, having this crazy personality. You can do all this without this stuff. You can do it without editing even a single video or even knowing how to edit, honestly. You can profit from YouTube without being behind a microphone, without being good at technology. Some of you guys may be saying, well, Kev, I've tried stuff online before. I'm just not good enough at technology. This is one of the few ways and a few opportunities where you don't have to be good at technology to actually make real profits. You're going to learn the new way that you can profit from YouTube without learning graphic design so you can create thumbnails. You're going to learn how to do it without having expensive equipment or any equipment at all. Like maybe someone killed. I need a camera in order to be, go to do YouTube. That's going to cost me a lot. No, guys, you can literally do this without any equipment at all. And you guys may say, well, Caleb, is that everything that goes into, isn't that everything that goes into YouTube? Well, yeah, it actually is everything that goes into YouTube, but just not with the new way. So I know you guys are probably burning one know What is this new way? Well, here are just some of the results of the, uh, from the new way from just one person that I'm going to be introducing to you guys shortly. These are real case studies of people that are using this new way from just one person. You guys are going to be meeting him very soon. And no, you will never have to pay for a single ad for the new way to work. A lot of people say, well, Caleb, I guess I'm going to have to spend a lot of money on ads in order to make this YouTube thing work. Well, not with the new way, once again. Now, this is for four, five types of people today. So if you're in this five people, I want you to stay on. And if you're not, then this isn't the presentation for you. Number one, this is for someone who wants to use YouTube as a part-time business and side income. Maybe you already have stuff going on. You just want an extra side income that's coming in every single month. This is for someone who wants to use YouTube as a full-time business and a career. Maybe you want to go all in. You want to use this new way. This is for someone who has a team member with a few extra hours in the day who they can teach you YouTube to make you more passive income. Now guys, I know this is one of my favorite parts about this. It's actually some of the things I'm doing with my team. Is this a great way to make even some people on your team that you already have that have a few extra hours in the day even more profitable than they already are? We're also going to be sharing, uh, this is also for someone who already has a lot on their plate and just wants to let their money work for them by putting it into an investment that works just like real estate and creates real sustainable passive income, but without investing huge amounts of money up front. So I'm actually showing you how YouTube can become an investment that's similar to real estate, but you don't have to spend this crazy amount of money up front just to get it to work. And this is for someone who wants to use the new way of YouTube to profitably explode their personal brand without even spending a dime on advertising by doing nothing but stepping in front of the camera. Guys, I do want to say this before I even hop into it fully. I'm not a YouTuber, guys. I mean, yes, I've gone viral online. Yes, I've uploaded YouTube videos. Yes, I'm close with some of the top YouTubers in the world. And you may have even seen some of the videos I've uploaded on YouTube in the past. But what I really am is not a YouTuber, but I'm rather a business person. And the opportunity that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today in this presentation is not just for uh, aspiring young YouTubers. Although they will love this, it'll be the best presentation you ever watch. What this really is for, what I went in all in and made sure this is who I'm talking to, is this is for the business people. This is for people out there that fall into one of these ty five types of people and want to use YouTube for these five things. Now, before we hop into it, I need your full focus. And guys, I'm going to teach you guys something real fast. Before we even like get into the actual training on YouTube, let me just throw in some extra value, over deliver even more. Focus is the absence of distraction. So when I say I need your full focus, what I'm really saying is I need your full absence of distraction. I need you to look around, look at every distraction that possibly could get in your way. Because if you miss one sentence in this, that could be the difference between literally your business growing and not. I need to make sure that you guys are listening to every single word. So any distractions around, maybe there's multiple tabs open on your computer right now while you're watching this. I want you to, to, to exit out of those tabs. Maybe you have your notifications turned on so someone could text you. And it may seem harmless. Maybe someone just sends you a text, but you could miss something super important. So I want you guys to put everything on do not disturb. Make sure there's no way someone can call you, someone can text you. Uh, if you guys are in a noisy room, I want you to go into a room that's just quiet and you can go all in because focus the absent distraction. I need you guys undivided attention today. Now, let me answer this first question before we even hop into it. Who am I? Because I watch something sometimes, I'm like, I want to know who is this person? Like, it's cool if they have a great opportunity, but who is the person that's telling me about this? Well, my name is Caleb Maddox. I made my first $100,000 by 14. I made my first million dollars by 16. I am the author of nine books. Uh, I'm the founder of a kid's education company that's evaluated between 15 and $30 million. And what I'm most proud of about that is we have 100,000 students, 100,000 kids that are in this program and their lives are being changed each and every single day. I'm the co-founder of something called Maximum Wage, which is literally one of the number one uh, entrepreneur education platforms in the world. And I'm also the co-creator of the world's number one YouTube automation program, which is called YTA. Now, here's what I want to start off by letting you guys know up front. I'm not going to risk my reputation today because I know who's watching this. 
The guys I know, like I said before, my mentors, the people who have bet on me, the people that have believed in me, the, the people that have supported me, the people that have taught me, they're all on this training right now. I just want you guys to know up front, I refuse to risk my reputation. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys anything that I do not fully believe. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys something that's just kind of a little bit twisted, or a little bit out of integrity. Like for me, I know who's watching this. I know that my dad's probably going to watch this. I know my, my mom's going to watch this as well. Like I want you guys to know I'm not the type of person who's going to risk the reputation that I've spent the last few years trying to build up in this industry over just trying to convince you about something that I don't truly believe in. So I do want to start off with some house rules and let you guys know up front with full integrity what I'm about. Number one, I am not into the whole get rich quick stuff. Like I know you see that a lot. You see ads, you see videos, you may have been on trainings in the past. Like you're going to get rich quick overnight. Guys, it will not happen overnight for you. And if you think it is, that's not, this is not for you. This is not for you today. You can go search other things, but this today is not about how to get rich overnight. This is not about effortless earnings. I'm not telling you guys that off the bat, all of a sudden you're just never gonna have to do anything. You're gonna make millions and millions of dollars. No, I don't believe in effortless earnings. It's not true. I've searched the internet. And I've never found a single thing. Trust me, little 12 year old Caleb was hoping there was effortless earnings out there. Nope, not, not a thing. And I'm not into that. And these results you guys are gonna be learning about today are not typical. They're not typical results. Like they're gonna be seeing very big numbers, bigger numbers than you may have even seen in other opportunities. But these results are not typical. Yes, they are possible but they are not typical. And I don't want you guys thinking, oh, I'm gonna get this exact same thing. No guys, there's not just some duplicate button and all of a sudden you're making all the millions of dollars that other people out there are making. And I want this to be a win-win for everyone. Like for me, I don't just want you to win, even though I desperately want you to win. I wake up every single morning, early in the morning, and I'm literally thinking, how do I help millions of people across the world win? For me, this isn't just about making you money. I wanna make sure you win. I wanna make sure YouTube wins. And there's also two other people two other parties that are involved inside of the new way. And I want to make sure that it's a win, 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 win for all four parties, a part of the new way. So with that being said, now that we're on the exact same page, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I need that you guys need to know about YouTube is this thing called the magic button. See, this is my absolute favorite part about YouTube. And how many of you guys, how many of you guys want to know more about this magic button? Go ahead and put that in the chat below. I want to, I want to see yeses for the magic button. Okay, good stuff. Okay. So this magic button works like this. There's an off and on button inside of your YouTube panel and I'll show you guys how to get there and all that good stuff. And when you turn it on, guess what? Now you can get paid. That is when the money starts to happen. That is how you start to actually make money on YouTube. You just turn on this magic button. Now, how does YouTube actually pay you money? Because I'm not just gonna assume everyone knows how YouTube pays you money because it would be confusing. Like, how do I upload videos and I get paid money for views? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Well, YouTube is a platform, obviously, with the goal of making money. And that may shock some of you guys. You're like, wait a second, Gail, like, I didn't know it was a platform with the goal of making money. I thought it was just a platform to watch cat videos. Well, although you can do that, really what it is in the day is a business. Like, just like us, like, we, we wanna make money. In order to make money, in order to be a good business, what do you need? Well, you need people that pay you. You need someone to pay you money or you can't make money. So guess who pays YouTube? Well, it's these awesome people over here called advertisers. Now, these advertisers are usually big companies. They're big companies that have a product, have a service, and guess what they want? They want to get that product in front of the viewer's eyes. They want to pitch their product, their brand slogan, their service, whatever it might be. They want the viewers to know about it so the advertisers can make more money. But there's one problem. The viewers don't care about the advertisers. I mean, guys, who goes and just watches ads? Like, like it's, it's not what you're doing here. You're watching creators. That is what the viewers do. They're watching you, which are the creators. They're engulfed in the video that you created that, that, is, that is moving them, that makes them laugh, that entertains them. That is what they're watching. People go to YouTube to watch videos that they enjoy and entertain. They don't want to just get pitched by some advertiser. So because the viewers aren't focused on the advertiser, but they're focused on you and the creators, there's one person in the way from the advertiser getting to the viewers, and that's you, the creators. So advertisers got creative. They did something pretty cool. They said, you know what? What if we pay YouTube? Like I said, this is the people that pay YouTube. What if we pay YouTube money? YouTube puts a video in front of the creator's videos that the viewers have to watch. And if they like it, they keep watching. If not, they can skip over it. And that is literally how YouTube works. Advertisers pay YouTube money and put videos in front of creator's videos. And the, that way the viewers see their product, see their service, and they can make even more money. But here's the deal. They can't, YouTube just can't put a video, an ad in front of your video and you don't get anything. You're the really important person here. Like it's your video. So YouTube said, you know what? Because the creators are the ones that's allowing us to be able to have these advertisers get in front of the viewers. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do something pretty generous. We're going to give the creators 55% of the money that advertisers pay us. That's right. The money that advertisers give to YouTube, you get to keep 55% of that money in order for them to put an ad in front of your video. But that makes sense. 
I mean, obviously you get the 55% of profits because you're the most valuable person on the platform. Like, like you're who people are there to watch. You're the most valuable person. So you get the majority of the profits from advertisers. So guys, think about the opportunity this opens up. That means that you get 55% of profits from a platform that's going twice as fast as Facebook. 55% of profits from a platform where there's 5 billion videos that are watched every single day on YouTube, 5 billion videos. You get 55% of platforms that has eight, or sorry, 1.8 trillion videos that are watched every year and that number continues to grow. This isn't a stagnant number. Every single year, it continues to increase. And you're getting 55% of profits from a platform that has 1.8 billion monthly active users. Guys, they paid out an estimated $6 billion to creators just like you last year alone, people just like you who upload YouTube videos. Now, here's the deal. People are leaving so much money on the table by thinking YouTube is just for kids. Don't you guys see this opportunity? Like put below, are you guys seeing this opportunity? I wanna see in the chat that you guys are understanding this opportunity. That way I can continue. Because it doesn't matter how old you are anymore. It doesn't matter, like all matters is that you take advantage of this opportunity because YouTube is your opportunity. And so many people think, well, YouTube is a kid's game. YouTube is for kids. But that's not the truth. There's people that are every single different type of agent, especially with this new way. It opens it up to where YouTube is now your opportunity because of the new way you're going to be learning about here shortly. Now, the best part about this is that YouTube doesn't care where you're from. YouTube doesn't care where your ethnicity is. YouTube doesn't care if you have some college degree, what college you went to, what your background education is. YouTube doesn't care about your age, like I said, how young you are or how old you are. YouTube doesn't care if your parents are rich, if you come from a rich background. It doesn't care about your credibility and your positioning, who you know, who you've met in the past, what you've done. It doesn't care about any of that and it even doesn't care about how much money you have now. You see, all YouTube cares about is one thing and that's that people watch your videos and when they do, Guess what happens? It's our favorite part about this entire process, and that's that you get paid. That's all YouTube cares about. People watch your videos, you get paid. And to me, that is why YouTube is an opportunity for everyone. That is why YouTube is your opportunity. Because of one simple reason, YouTube is the only platform with the magic button. That's why. Facebook doesn't have this magic button. Instagram doesn't have this magic button. Snapchat doesn't have this magic button. TikTok doesn't have this magic button. New platforms, old platforms. There's only one platform with the magic button that'll start to pay you money and that's YouTube. And that button, it's called monetization. And all monetization is, is you just clicking a button, turning it on, and the moment you turn on monetization, guess what? All you're doing is just giving permission for YouTube to show ads before your videos. That way you get paid money for every single view. But I do wanna be fully transparent because I wanna make sure to reveal everything to you, both the good and bad about YouTube. Like guys, I refuse to be one of those, you know, this is the best opportunity ever. There's nothing else that goes into it other than going to the bank. Because truth is, there is no magic money machine. Like if I told you there was, I would just be fully out of integrity and go against everything I was raised to do. And also like, I, I'm not gonna make something I'm saying some magic money machine when some of the closest people in my life are on here watching this. Like, I wanna make sure I'm in full integrity. And if there was a magic money machine, guys, I'd be talking to you guys about that today. So it's not a magic money machine, but I do believe that this is the greatest opportunity of our era. But there is one catch about this amazing opportunity. And that's that because of the old way, this, actually, this catch has actually stopped some creators from ever making money. And that catch is this, YouTube will not pay you unless you have monetization turned on. If once you have monetization turned on, you get paid, but if you don't have it turned on, they will not pay you. And monetization requires two things and two things only. If you have these two things, you're monetized, you can start getting paid. And that's number one, 1,000 subscribers. Once you have 1,000 subscribers, and then number two, once you have 4,000 plus hours of watch time, you can now turn on monetization and start getting paid. So here's the question, how do you get monetized fast so you can start getting paid? Well, let me give you three ways to do that. Number one, you can do it organically. Now, with the old way, this was a little bit tougher, but with the new way that you'll be learning about today, this can happen faster than you would ever expect to get a monetized channel. Get a thousand subscribers and you get 4,000 plus hours of watch time doing it organically. With the new way, it's way simpler than you could ever imagine. Number two, there's actually a way where you can buy a monetized channel for $200, which most people don't even have a clue is an option. I'll be sharing that with you guys here in a little bit. And number three, this is a really cool thing that we're doing with this uh, live event today because you guys are giving us your time, so we wanna reward you with something. If you stay to the very end of this training, we're actually gonna be giving away 10 monetized channels completely free so that you can start getting paid day one on YouTube. You're gonna learn so much about YouTube, you're gonna to wanna to get paid day one, so we're giving away 10 monetized channels, but we only have 10, and then, like I said, there's one more case to that, and that's if you have to stay to the very end of this training. If you don't stay, you're no longer eligible, but if you stay to the very end, we're gonna be giving away 10 monetized channels. All right, those are three ways. But once you have monetization turned on, you're off to the races and you can start to take advantage of the only platform with the magic button. Now here's the deal. Out of all the social media platforms, out of every website online, you can argue which one you wanna use, but you can't argue that YouTube is the best business opportunity. Like if you guys wanna scroll Instagram, that's okay. 
But if you want to get paid, you have no choice but to use YouTube. And honestly, I'm the perfect example of this. See, I went viral on Facebook. Just one of my videos reached 40 million people. I mean, guys, think about how many people that is. Like, take that into account. I remember when that first happened, I was like, think about how many Super Bowl stadiums that is full of people. That, that's a crazy amount of people. I was reaching 9 million people every week on Facebook. Guys, it was pretty cool back then. I, I had people come up and be like, oh my gosh, you're one of the top people on Facebook. I see your videos all the time, right? Like, I had so many people. I literally gave Facebook hundreds of thousands of hours of watch time. But guess how much I got paid? I got paid nothing. You know why? Facebook doesn't have the magic button. I went in Australian national TV in front of 8 million people. I remember I was so excited. I get to be in front of TV. I had no clue it would even be 8 million people by the way. I thought it would just be like 100,000 people. And they told me the numbers afterwards. Like 8 million people watch this. And dude, little 14 year old Kale was pretty hyped about that one. Literally, I went on national TV, 14 year old CEO, the teenager motivating people around the world. This guy right here, awesome dude. He literally said on there that I'm the young Tony Robbins. They talk about me speaking on stages, the companies I own. Guess how much I got paid for that? I got paid literally nothing. Right? I've even gone viral on Instagram. I'm even verified, guys. The verification, this always blows people's mind. People think when you get verified on Instagram, you've made it, right? Well, apparently not, because guess how much I got paid for that? I got paid nothing. Why? Because none of those platforms have the magic button. But those three things alone on YouTube, because of monetization, could have made me over a million dollars if I knew about the new way. It's pretty cool stuff we're learning here, guys, right? Go ahead and put the chat below. If you guys, like, like I know this is for some of you guys first time learning about the magic button and it blows my mind that people don't talk about this more. Like, this is what makes YouTube different. You see, $1 million is the cost of my mistake. If I would have known about this magic button, if I would have known how this worked, this trading literally could have saved me $1 million plus. That's honestly a conservative estimate. So once again, because of that fact, because I'm giving you guys something that if I would have watched this training a few years ago, it would have saved me over a million dollars. I need your undivided attention. It's so vital, guys. Like in, in the 21st century, the day and age we live in, it's so easy to get distracted, want to do other things, want to hop on phone calls, text, all sorts of stuff. I need your undivided attention. Now, maybe you're thinking success came easy to me, right? You know, a lot of people think that I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth because of how much money I've made by such a young age. People see me do videos saying I was a millionaire by 16. And people are like, oh, you had a silver spoon. You must have had a rich dad, rich parents. Because the truth is, when I was eight years old, my dad got in such a bad place financially that his car actually got repossessed. We no longer had a place to live and we had to go and live in this Sunday school room. And every single night, I didn't get to sleep with my dad because we had to sleep on blue cots. And like, I, I literally couldn't sleep. Like we both couldn't fit on this blue cot. So every single night I would sleep on the blue cot. And I'd always think as a little, little kid, I remember being eight years old. My dad and I, we'd be going to bed and we'd both be on blue cots and we'd be looking at each other. And I was turned to the left. He was turned to the right. We'd look at each other's eyes and we'd be like, one day we're going to make it. And this is no longer going to happen. We'd be bike riding to Chick-fil-A. My dad's car got repossessed and we'd bike ride to Chick-fil-A every morning. And my dad and I would be, dude, think about how cool this story is going to be when we can tell about this on stage. Think about this. Like how, like, how cool would that be? And which is awesome, by the way, because that just hit me. Like, I'm literally sharing this with you guys right now, sharing with you guys with where I'm at now. So it's pretty cool that that happened. But what I do need you guys to know is I'm an expert on what does not work. I've literally failed over 15 businesses by 18 years old. You may have said, okay, well, you're only 18, so you're talking about 15 lemonade stands, right? No, guys, I'm talking about real businesses that I invested money in. Because you can't really, you can't start a business without investing money, but these are real businesses I invested money in, all sorts of different business models. Because trust me, I've tried plenty of business models that didn't work. And I in fact, actually, I was on the phone the other day with uh, someone that's been on my team for the last four years. And he's been with me through pretty much every one of the 50 businesses. I think he's been with me through, through like at least 11 of those businesses. And we were just reminiscing about old memories about how when we started this company, we thought it was going to be this big company that made us $5 million and it failed. And then we would rebrand and try another company with the same name or with a different name, with a different angle and see if that would work. And then it failed. And we're like, oh, this industry doesn't work. So we go try another industry. And we're like, let's do a whole different product. Maybe we try that. And it failed. And we did this like 15 times over. And he said to me, he was like, his name is Noah Lenz, by the way. Shout out to Noah if you're listening to this. But he goes, uh, he literally said to me, he said, Caleb, you know what I've learned about you throughout all this journey with you? And I said, no, dude, what's that? And I was excited, guys. This is like 2 a.m. when I was talking to him. I'm like, he's going to say I'm persistent. He's going to say I never give up. I'm like, come on, this is great. This is what you hope your team members say about you, right? This shows so much about me. And no, he said, the one thing I've learned about you is that you are a professional failure. <laughs> and uh, and it hurts so bad I laugh, guys. No, I'm just kidding. But I, honestly, it, it makes sense, though. I am a professional failure. I've started 15 businesses, a real business, and they failed. Now, the good news is I have had a few successful seven-figure ones, which makes up for those losses. But I'm going to tell you guys what. What I'm sharing with you guys today is by far one of the best business models I've ever seen. 
It would have saved me those 15 failures. If I'd had this business model up front, even with the no money that I had to start, even with so little experience, even with not even really knowing how to use a laptop, even with all that stuff, this business model would have saved me those 15 failures. And I really believe I could have gotten it working off the bat. And you may be saying, okay, that's a bold claim. You know, you're probably exaggerating. To say this is one of the best business models you've ever seen, there's so many business models. But guys, I'm telling you with 100% integrity. And that's true, like I was raised to have integrity. Like even doing one little slight thing out of integrity when I was a little kid was by far worse than getting multiple Fs in a row. I mean, my dad always told me this one quote, he instilled this in me. Every day before I go into school, he would tell me this. He'd say, hey, Caleb, don't forget, luck and talent can get you to the top, but character will keep you there. And that's what my mom and dad instilled in me ever since I was a little, little kid. But here's why I can boldly say with integrity, that the new way of making money on YouTube is one of the best business models I've ever seen. The profit margin is lower, or sorry, is higher than any, any, any other business model I've seen in this industry. It's a low cost of barrier to entry. If you're just getting started out, you can make this work. It's real passive income and time freedom. And guys, I've been skeptical of passive income in the, back, in the past. I'm actually gonna tell you guys a little bit more about that here in a bit, but this is actual true passive income. The scalability of it, the low skill it requires, the low tech, it's fully mobile. You can do this from anywhere in the world. It doesn't involve trading time for money, even just a little bit, and it provides predictable and consistent cash flow. Now guys, I thought the old way of YouTube was a great business model because I have friends that are literally making tens of millions of dollars a year doing it the right way, or sorry, doing it, but the new way is even better than the old way. They were doing this old way, the new way literally trumps it. I mean, it trumps, to me personally, it trumps drop shipping. It trumps SMMA. Guys, I have friends that are doing both those things and they make a decent amount of money. It trumps real estate wholesaling. Guys, I'm saying this with full integrity. It trumps Amazon FBA. It trumps consulting. And that's, that's a lot for me to say because I've literally gotten paid $15,000 for a single day worth of consulting. Uh, it trumps becoming an author. Like I said, I've written nine books. It trumps becoming a speaker. I've gotten paid $25,000 for a single hour long speech. Actually, 45 minute long speech. And for a single 45 minute long speech, I got paid $25,000. In fact, one time I gave a, a whole entire hour long presentation speaking, I made $60,000 in one hour doing that. It trumps running Facebook ads. And I've literally run millions of dollars worth of Facebook ads. It trumps building a personal brand. And I've done that whole thing. I believe in that massively before. And I, I did viral videos and I was consistently producing content and I was making sure to have the right brand image, all of that stuff. It trumps all of those things. Now, before I explain to you what the new way is, to use YouTube to make passive income without having to be good on camera, edit even a single video or be good at tech, I do want to explain to you guys the old way. This is going to give you guys more context so you understand how amazing this new way truly is. Here's how the old way of YouTube worked. Number one, you would spend a lot of money buying extremely expensive cameras, microphones, lighting, and often setting my studio. I mean, guys, I remember the first time I ever saved up to buy my first camera, spent a few thousand dollars, was so excited about it. And then I was like, oh man, you need to have lighting too. So then I ordered those off Amazon, microphones like, like that. Guys, that's the old way. Then after that, you would sit there and you'd come up for new ideas for videos that you hope get views and maybe one day goes viral. And I'm truthfully, guys, I know a lot of people have done this. For most people, it never does. You spend hours a day in front of the camera filming a video with countless retakes, which is massively exhausting. And to actually make it work, you have to have this crazy personality. You then edit for hours late in the night, trying to get your video uploaded before the next day, only to see the video you spend so much time on is mainly getting hate comments that are attacking you personally. Guys, that's one of the worst parts about it. And then what you were once so excited about becomes a mind numbing process that you dread every day that sucks your time, your passion, your freedom, and your life away. And I'm gonna tell you guys this personally, I've done it this old way. My friends have done it this old way for years in a row. And because of that, I know how bad this truly is. I know how draining it is both mentally and emotionally. I've seen my friends do crazy things. They completely change, their entire identity changes because of how mentally and emotionally draining this actually is. I've seen it ruin relationships and literally rob families of memories. And you can maybe hear some passion in my voice because I know the truth behind this old way. And guys, it maybe sounds intense because you're like, they're just filming videos. But if you know anyone that does the old way, you know the type of, of effect it can have on them. But the good news is you no longer have to do it the old way. The old way is officially over and there is the new way. You see, this new way does not rob you of memories, but it rather gives you the freedom to make even more of them. So let me start off with telling you about how I learned about the new way. And that's that I met this dude who's become a close friend of mine. His name is Devin. Now, the first time I ever met Devin, although I could tell he's a super simple dude, I could tell he had money. Now, the number of reason I could tell he had money, number one, is because <laughs> the group of friends that we were hanging out with at the time, pretty much all of us had money. And number two, it was just the way he cared himself. I could tell he had a decent amount of money. And so I was curious, anytime I meet someone that has money, or really, actually, honestly, anyone at all, I ask them, what do you do for a living? What do you do? Like, I, I'm picking their brain. I want to know more about them. And I know you guys probably, you go into a coffee shop, one of the first questions you ask them is you'll be like, hey, what do you do? Uh, and so for like that, that's for me is what I asked him. I said, dude, what do you do? And then he showed me the stats from this channel. 
and he made $480,000 from one YouTube channel. Now, to be honest with you, this didn't really blow my mind because I have a lot of friends that make a lot more than this on YouTube. But what did blow my mind is that I can usually spot a YouTuber out of a crowd. And he just, I don't know, he just didn't really seem like a YouTuber to me. Like, you know, usually they have a certain way that they act. They have a certain personality, this dynamic, insane personality. And he was just kind of a laid back dude. And usually they, they dress a certain way and he was just dressed in kind of normal clothes. They talk a certain way. They always want to do crazy things. Like, just, I've been around so many YouTubers. I can always usually spot them out of a crowd. He seemed like the exact opposite. But then again, I saw his stats. My man made $480,000 off one YouTube channel. So I had to respect it. Clearly he's doing a good job as a YouTuber. But that's when he showed me two more channels that were making him money. One channel made him $72,000, another made $174,000. Now at this point, my mind was literally blown because I know how hard it is to get just one channel to make money, but I didn't understand how he was doing, how he basically got to the place where three channels were working. He was uploading on them every single day on each of them and they were all making him money. Like I know the work that goes into one, but he was doing this on three channels every day and they were all making him money. And guys, I thought I worked hard. Literally when I was 14 years old, I had child protective services called on me because I literally was working too many hours in the day. Now, good news is Child Protective Services understood how passionate I was about my mission. By the time I was in talking to them, actually, they ended up buying book, my books for their kids, which was actually a crazy, crazy experience. But I'm the same thing. Even though I have this insane work ethic, I'm working 17, 18 hours a day some days. If he's doing these three channels in a row, he has to work harder than me. Like I was like, I, I, like he has, I, I've met my match. He's even a harder worker than I am. So I asked him, how is he doing this? Like, what was his routine like? How do you have such this insane drive, this insane work ethic? And that's when he told me, that those, ch those three channels were just a fraction of the channels he had and that he had dozens more that were uploading daily and making him money. Okay, let's step back for a second. All right, let let's talk on a, on, a, on a homie level. We're friends now, right? Like me and you, you're, in, you're watching this right now. At this point, guys, I, was not, I wasn't even curious how he was doing anymore. I literally just assumed he was either A, kidding, I thought he was just joking, maybe we just met and he was trying to be funny and, and kind of get my attention, I had no clue. Or B, he was literally just lying to me. Because like, there's no way, like, like all I was going through is how could he film, edit, and upload so much content every day? What type of content was he uploading and how was he doing it as such a laid back guy? There was no way in my mind this even seemed possible. And when he told me the answer of how he was doing it, that is when I learned about the new way. That is when I learned about automated YouTube channels. You see, Devin explained to me that every one of his channels are fully automated. He's uploaded more than 2,000 videos without ever stepping in front of a camera once, without working insane amounts of hours, without having a crazy personality, without editing even a single video, without being behind a microphone once, without being good at technology, without learning graphic design to create thumbnails, and even without having expensive equipment. In fact, I don't believe he has any equipment, any equipment at all, when he's uploaded those 2,000 videos. It didn't take any of his own equipment. Every one of his dozens of channels are fully automated. But guys, once he told me this, I was so intrigued and curious I sat down with him and picked his brain for hours. I asked him every question I could, I, I think of, about how this was possible. And that day he taught me the three steps to creating automated YouTube channels that earn you passive income. And I cannot wait to share those steps with you guys today. So as you right, you know, if you guys don't want to hear three steps, I want to share them with you, but I assume you do because if you're anything like me, you're massively intrigued, you want to know it. So put in the chat below who wants to hear about these three steps. Before we get into it, here's what I know about YouTube. I know how much just one channel can make when done right, but I also know with the old way, how much time goes in to even a single YouTube channel. But let's just imagine for a second, right? Let's use our imagination. Let's imagine we could eliminate that. Imagine we could eliminate how much time goes into a YouTube channel. If it didn't take your time and your channel is fully automated, that means you couldn't just create one channel, you create three channels. And three channels means three times the money. But why would you stop there? If you're making three times the money, you have three channels, they're fully automated, they're taking none of your time. You can go create more channels and even more channels. You could create a network of fully automated YouTube channels all making you passive income. Well guys, that is the new way. That is YouTube automation. You see, once you get a YouTube channel fully outsourced and automated, YouTube automation is true passive income. Now here's one thing I wanna say real fast before I even bring up the word passive income one more time, I wanna establish this. For me personally, the word passive income is a trigger word for me. Now, maybe it's because when I used to like, I'd go speak on stages, I'd do my thing. And then when I get done with it, there always be this line of people want to take pictures, which is always so humbling and honoring. And in between photos, the one thing I didn't like about taking photos of people after I'd speak is they would always try to pitch me these passive income opportunities. And truthfully, they were all literally schemes that other people would fall, fall, uh, would fall for. But luckily for me, because of the business mentors I had, I was able to see their massive flaws and could literally poke holes in them left and right. And because of that, the only passive income at the time I actually believe existed was real estate. I mean, even the first time I met Devin and I was asking him questions for hours, 
I mean, yeah, it was actually because I was motivated by curiosity because I'm a curious person naturally, but not just to find out how he does it, but even more so to find out what was wrong with it. Like I was just trying to poke holes in like even most of my questions were trying to poke holes in the business model, trying to find where the flaws were, trying to find out what he was hiding from me. Because I'm like, there's no way all this works. It's fully automated. Like it doesn't work that way. But let's go ahead and clarify something real fast. I'm not usually a skeptic, right? I may sound like a skeptic. He's like, dude, why would you poke holes in this business model? I'm usually the happiest dude you'll ever meet. Like literally you meet me in person. I have crazy amounts of enthusiasm. I always look at the bright side. It's just that for me personally, when he said like passive income, it's just a trigger word for me. So let's go ahead and remove it for a second. Let's go ahead and remove the word passive income and just act as if it doesn't even exist. And let's go ahead and talk about something that neither of us can be skeptical of or doubt. And that's the real people, like I said in the beginning of this, are making real income from YouTube. That is something that even both of us can't deny. Like I could not deny this person because I have so many friends that are making real income from it. So it was never that I doubted that his channels were making money. I doubted how they were making money. The fact they were automated and that he had so many. And the truth is they're making this money, these creators, without creating a product or service, without dealing with customers or clients, without having refunds and chargebacks and disputes, which all business owners can relate with, that's the absolute worst. Without, if you stop working, you stop getting paid, because I know so many people, they have businesses and they get make a lot of money, but if they literally go take a week off, it's gonna completely break and go back and dwindle back to zero. They're doing this without being unethical and sketchy, where they have to rip people off. They're doing this without talking to people or selling anything at all. And like, it's so rare there's an actual business opportunity where you don't even have to talk to people in order to make money. And they're doing all this without sending out any emails, running any ads or any marketing whatsoever. You guys, I want you guys to put a yes in the chat and your favorite emoji, throw that in there as well. My personal favorite emoji is a fire emoji. So let's, let's get the fire game going. Put in the chat a fire emoji and a yes. If you want to make income without all these things, I, mean, I know as a business owner, that sounds like an absolute dream. So if you could do that, and if you could do YouTube, like, like these people are making the second without it, that means there's only two parts to this business model. The first part to the business model of making money on YouTube is number one, you create videos. That's the first part. You upload and create videos. Number two, YouTube pays you money. That's the entire business model. My friends that make money on YouTube that put hours and hours into it, all they do is they create videos and YouTube pays the money. It's one of the most simple business models in the world. It's not complex. It's not hard. It's very simple. But like I said before, creating the videos your, the old way yourself is extremely hard. You spend a lot of money on, uh, on expensive equipment. You sit there, come up with new ideas, hope they get views. You spend hours in front of a camera. You edit for late hours into the night. And then what you were once so excited about literally becomes that mind numbing process that you dread every day that sucks your time, your passion, your freedom in your life away. But if you could outsource and automate the creating videos part from start to finish, it would truly be passive income because there's only two parts to YouTube. If you could take out the part of creating videos, and like guys, I can't be skeptical of this. When I first said that, I couldn't be skeptical. I, I would agree with this. You eliminate creating videos, all there would be in the second step would just be one now, and that would be YouTube pays you money. Like that, that would be the only thing that's left. And that is what YouTube automation is. You see, YouTube is income, but YouTube automation is passive income. It's basically YouTube, but without you personally creating the videos. And that one thing creates a massive opportunity for people just like me and you. And here's why. Every video you upload is a real asset. You see, most people don't understand that. This is kind of how they think YouTube works. And this is how I thought YouTube works in the very, very beginning. You upload a video, it makes you some money. Like some people understand this concept. They understand videos make you money, but this is how they think it works. You upload a video, it makes you some money for 24 hours or some short period of time, maybe two days, whatever. And then it dies off. Like they think the videos die. And then you have to do, create a second video. And you create that second video, that way you keep your income going. And maybe that video even does a little bit better. But after 24 hours, it still, still dies off. And then you create a third video. And guess what? You do the exact same cycle. You make some more money and then it dies off, so on and so forth. And they think it's this ever grinding process where you have to continue to upload new videos every single day to make money. But that's not how YouTube works. See, the truth is YouTube videos are assets that do not die. When someone watches your video, you get paid and it does not matter when. Now guys, this is literally one of my favorite parts about YouTube. If you upload a video today and someone watches it three years from now, it doesn't matter when they watch it, they watch it three years from now, you will get paid money. You get paid, even if someone watches it three years from now, you get paid because videos are streams of income that last forever. And this was my first big epiphany about YouTube. This is the first thing that when I understood this, it literally changed the entire way that I was looking about the opportunity of YouTube. Because YouTube isn't just a stream of income. YouTube channels aren't just a stream of income, but every video you upload is a stream of income. You see, if you upload a video today, and then you upload a video yesterday, and you upload a video the day before. So let's say you uploaded three videos. When you upload a video today, that video you uploaded three days ago, it didn't die, it's still going. If someone watches it today, you're still gonna get paid money. So it's streams of income that literally stack on top of each other. And if you do it consistently, every video you upload stacks on top of the last one. 
Now I just want you to imagine having all these videos. They're all streams of income. Imagine three years from now. If you upload every single day for three years straight, that's 1,095 assets and streams of income on just one channel alone. You see, every video you upload is a stream of income and every channel you start is a river of income. There's actually a reason they call them channels. Like what is a channel? It's where there's water flowing into something. It's the same exact thing. It's a stream of water. Like it's streams of income. That is what a channel is, but it doesn't stop there because people rarely just watch one video. I mean, again, I don't know about you guys, but usually when I watch YouTube, I watch one video and I'll go watch another one. And especially if I like the channel, I go watch another video from theirs and another one, and another one. And people don't just watch one video, but think about it. If you get paid for every single view, and, P and, and people enjoy the videos. And actually, like I said, I'm gonna get into OPC a little bit later, which almost guarantees that people do joy, uh, enjoy the videos. They're pretty much almost guaranteed to watch another video. And when they watch the other video and someone views it, doesn't matter when or how, or if they've seen another one of your videos before, you get paid even more money. But then let's say they watch that video and they wanna go watch another one. So they can watch another one of your videos. Guess what? You get paid for that as well. I mean, guys, have you ever been seven videos deep on YouTube? I know personally I have. I'll be with seven videos deep. I'll watch a seven video. Because every single time, I did not even know this until recently. If I watch a, a person's video once, and a second time, and a third time, if I watch seven different of their videos, guess what? I'm paying them seven times because every view gives them money. It doesn't matter if they've seen other videos before. But here's also good news. If people watch one video, I don't know about you guys, but I have a video that I watch every single day. Every single morning I wake up, I watch it once. The next morning I wake up at 5 a.m. and I watch that video again. It's like my morning routine video. Well, if I watch a video twice, guess what? That's another view. Even if I've seen the video before, I'm still viewing their video. So guess what? You get paid for that as well. If people watch your video one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I don't even care how many times. If they watch it over and over and over again, every single time you are getting paid money. So imagine three years from now with that perspective. That's 1,095 assets and streams of income all feeding each other. I mean, at that point, you don't even have a stream of income anymore. You have an entire ocean of income. How many of you guys are getting this? Are you guys understanding where I'm coming from with all this? Because when I first understood this, this literally changed my perspective. I wanna know, is this, is this, are you guys understanding where I'm coming from? Are you guys seeing the opportunity that's here? Because these are not videos, these are assets. Are you seeing how they all feed into each other? I wanna be seeing that in the chat. And the way that I kind of think about this, understanding this, is it's kind of like investing in a one bedroom apartment never touching it again, but when you come back, it's grown into an entire apartment complex. Now, as crazy as it sounds, that's exactly how YouTube automation works. See, every video you upload on YouTube makes the last video even more profitable. Now, a lot of this made sense for me because I do understand a decent amount about real estate and how if you have a lot of money, you can make true passive income with it. I mean, like I said, real estate was the only passive income opportunity that I believed in before I met Devin. But after talking to Devin for hours and trying to skeptically poke holes in his business model, I'm admitting that to you guys. I don't even think Devin knows I was doing it skeptically, but I'm gonna admit that to you guys. I was skeptically trying to poke holes in the business model. After doing that for hours, what made me stop being so skeptical was that I realized that his philosophy behind YouTube automation was based off of the same principles that my mentors that own over $100 million in real estate follow and live by. And here's what made YouTube automation very fascinating to me. It's like real estate, but without the huge upfront cost. You see, I've asked all my closest friends their opinions on real estate because I'm very intrigued to hear what they have to say. And everyone without exception told me that they, that they want to invest in it. They want to invest in real estate. They see the opportunity. But then when I ask them why they haven't yet, they all give me this exact same answer. Maybe this is what stopped some of you guys in the past. That's, that's that they don't have enough money up front to invest yet to make it worth it. And by the way, that's coming from some of my friends that make way over a million dollars a year or even more. And even some of my mentors who own real estate have told me personally, and I have money, to hold off on investing right now until I have more sitting capital in order to make real estate worth it. But for the first time ever, YouTube automation really does change that. Because I believe YouTube automation is the real estate of the internet. See, here is how I view YouTube automation. YouTube automation is like digital real estate. Every video you upload is like a new property and views are like tenants who pay you monthly. Guys, it's pretty cool, huh? See, YouTube automation gives you the opportunity to create compounding assets that make you passive income with no massive upfront cost. And that model is why Devin is able to make more than some of my friends who own entire apartment complexes with less money upfront than I personally paid for rent on my very first apartment. Now, how is that possible? Well, there's really two reasons. Number one, time equals money. You guys have probably heard this before, and it's something that I deeply believe in. The most successful people in the world have all echoed that exact same statement, time equals money. And because of that, it's inevitable that Devin makes more money than some of my friends in real estate. I mean, guys, just this one channel alone, and you're not gonna believe me when I say this, has almost 1,000 years of watch time. 
Guys, I didn't misspell that. I didn't put the wrong word. I didn't mean to say 1,000 hours. He has 1,000 years of watch time on this one channel. Guys, I literally had to pull out the calculator myself and make sure this is correct. How could you not make money when you have one channel with 1,000 years of watch time? And second, how could it not be possible when Devin has 2,000 streams of income, all compounding and pouring into one another, that are running on autopilot and paying him every day? Guys, think about that. Imagine that. Imagine every single day you have new assets that are being created, new assets that pay you money, and they're all pouring into one another. They're not just new assets, but every single asset stacks on, on top of the last one. It makes the last one even more valuable. You see, they say that the average millionaire has seven streams of income. You guys ever heard that before? It's a very basic statement. But Devin has 2,000 plus streams of income and multiple more that are being created every single day, even when he takes weeks off of working. And that's what allows him to do what he loves, which is travel. But guys, these are just the places he went in just 2019 alone. This is some of the traveling he did, and it's all because of YouTube automation. You see, for me, YouTube automation isn't just about the money. Money's a great thing, but to me, what matters even more is the time freedom. It's you having the freedom of time to be able to do what you love. Guys, it's life. Like that's what we're in. We're in life. We're not in this game where we're supposed to make money. We're in this game where we're supposed to enjoy life. We're supposed to make memories. It's the sound of our loved one's voice. It's being able to go out in nature. It's being able to travel and see the world. Like the world is so big. Why can't we see more of it? Like, I want the freedom to where I'm making money even when I'm not doing the one doing the work. I don't want to be a slave to someone else. I want to be the master of my own life. So by now, you're probably dying to know how YouTube automation works and how to take advantage of this opportunity. Because I know I was when I first found out about this. And by the way, guys, I see that the, the chat is flooded with questions. By the way, I'm loving all the positive feedback. I'm loving how hyped you guys are. I'm loving you guys are getting these concepts. I'm loving you guys want to hear more. And just know I'm going to be getting to all your guys' questions that I see. Uh, and there's some really good questions I want to make sure to get to. But I'll be getting those at the very, very end. So don't forget I'll be doing that. But once again, I do want to, I want to go ahead and echo this one more time. We don't believe in instant earnings because I just went through this entire thing. And for those of you who understand how this works, even a little bit, if you just saw what I just showed you, you guys understand the possibility. So I need to make sure to give you guys a quick warning. We do not believe in instant earnings. And although this can be passive income, once it's automated, if you don't have a, a, or hire a team member for you, it will take some upfront work. Now, those of you who have team members and you can just have them learn this stuff, that's the only way this could be passive income off the gate. But for those of you who don't currently have a team member or aren't going to hire one, this is going to take some upfront work, just like any great opportunity. And once again, I want to make sure to stay full in integrity and make sure you guys understand that. Now, here's the question. What type of channels don't require ever stepping in front of the camera, working insane amounts of hours, having a crazy personality, editing even a single video, being behind a microphone, being good at technology, learning graphic design so you can create thumbnails, and doing it that don't require having expensive equipment or any equipment at all. What channels are those? Now the crazy part is they're channels that you've seen before but don't even realize. There's something called faceless YouTube channels. Now as you guys look at the screen, you're probably like, okay, like I'm starting to understand this just a little bit because here's how it works. You ever been on YouTube and you watch some video, maybe it's a top 10 video, and it's the top 10, for example, right here, it said the top 10 disasters waiting to happen. Like that makes me want to like, I'm like, I gotta click on that. You ever clicked on a video like those and it just shares the top 10 things and it's some person that's just doing a voiceover and just talking about these 10 things, very simple editing. Well guys, don't forget, every view you get, you get paid for. And that's what makes faceless YouTube channels so awesome. You see, here's why the faceless YouTube channels are so easy to automate. You don't need to be in front of a camera. You don't need any camera gear, lighting, anything of that nature. Like, think about it. Like, and I'm gonna go back to that. You don't need to be in front of the camera real fast. With faceless channels, the people who own these channels aren't the ones that you're hearing when they're doing the videos. So they have entire teams that are doing this for them. You don't need any camera gear. You don't need the lighting. You don't uh, need to be in the person editing it. And the editing doesn't even have to be crazy. Like these videos are very, very simple. Your personality doesn't matter in the slightest. And if you use OPC, you don't even have to be the one that comes up with the content. If you use OPC the right way, which we'll be getting into in just one moment, the content is being created on, the, on your own. I'm sorry, without you. You can create more videos faster, which equals more assets and even more streams of income. Because once again, don't forget, videos are assets and you wanna be able to produce as many as possible. And the reason why people have their own channels and they're the ones in front of the camera and they're the ones doing the editing, the reason why they don't have more assets is because each and every single asset to produce takes crazy amounts of time. But if you have a faceless YouTube channel, you don't need to be in front of the camera. You don't need to be the one doing the editing. You don't need to be doing any of that stuff. You can fully automate it so you're producing more assets and more streams of income. And here's the best part to me, it's not dependent on one person, which means it's scalable and it doesn't have to be reliant on you at all. Like guys, I know YouTubers, they have to film videos even when they're sick. Why? Because they're not the ones in front of the camera. They're not getting paid. 
So like, it doesn't have to be reliant on you. And guys, after Devin showed me his channel chat, my, uh, his channel stats, he showed me one channel 480,000, he showed me 72,000, he showed me 174,000, and he was explaining to me like how much money he was making on these channels, and then he told me about automated YouTube channels and faceless channels. The first question I had is, which one of these big channels does Devin own? Because I'm like, listen, if you're pulling in stats like this, you have to have one of the big ones. Like, I, I assumed I'd already seen the channels he was creating. I assumed he had some of the biggest ones out there, ones with tens and tens of millions of views. But the channels Devin owned were way smaller than I expected. And in fact, some of his channels didn't even have many subscribers, but they were still making thousands of dollars every single month on autopilot. I'm looking at some of these channels. These are literally don't have any subscribers, but they're still producing him income. And that's because Devin knows which faceless niches make the most money and go the most viral, even if you don't have a lot of subscribers. In fact, he actually knows a few hacks to make more than similar niche, uh, sorry, similar channels in that exact same niche. So I couldn't help but wonder why I'd never heard this before and why were more people doing it? Like, like, like I, the first time I heard about this opportunity, and this is probably what's also going through your head, is why haven't I heard of this? If this is so good, if this is such a great opportunity, if this is possible, why haven't I heard of it? I mean, I'd heard of opportunities that weren't even one fifth as good and everyone was talking about it. And that's because he told me that without his formula, automated YouTube channels are nearly impossible. But with his formula, it's unbelievably, uh, unbelievably simple. Now here's an analogy you guys can all relate with, and this is kind of how I kind of processed it in my mind. He said, learning how to run automated YouTube channels is like learning to ride a bike. You see, once you have the formula, it's easy and you'll never forget how to start a profitable channel. But if you don't know how, you're gonna continue to lose your balance. You're gonna continue to mess up and you're not gonna know how. But once you know it, once you know that formula, once you've been taught that formula, once you follow the exact same formula as Devin, now you can create profitable YouTube channels with ease. Now here's just some of Devin's students. They're, this is his students, his one-on-one -on -one students that he shared his formula with. Now this is what got me the most. I thought maybe Devin's just some talented person, right? Because I mean, I know people in real estate that make so much money. It's like, maybe they're just really good at real estate. But what really impresses me and when, is when people know not just how to do it themselves, but they have a formula that they can teach people because that means it's not them that's able to make this work. It's the formula that they've created. Now, these are some of Devin's one-on-one -on -one students. This is one person that he started helping about 10 days ago. And the crazy, he said, even here, he said, the numbers weren't crazy yet, but we're getting there. That's 28,000 views in the first month of this happening. Another one of students made $129,000. Guys, I'm telling you, this, this process is duplicatable. And that's even what he said, my goal is for every client. He wants to make sure they're growing to this level. It's 121, uh, sorry, $129,000 made from just one channel that's fully automated. He's not even doing the work for, it's fully automated. This is not one of his students. He has 216,000 impressions, less than one month in. Less than one month in, he already has that many. And you know why? Because they were using his exact same formula. Here's the deal. I don't have time to break down his entire formula today because that would literally take hours. He went through a lot of it with me. It was blowing my mind. And I, I just can't get into all that today because we only have a short amount of time together, but we're having some fun. We're hanging out. And I did get Devin's permission to show you the framework of YouTube automation. So without further ado, I know you guys are antsy. I know you guys are excited. You guys have been waiting long enough. I've kept you guys long enough. Let me get into the three steps to creating your own automated YouTube channels that make you passive income daily. How many of you guys are excited about hearing this? Put this in chat. Because once again, I don't want to be talking at you guys. I love seeing your guys' notes because it makes me feel like I'm having a real conversation with you, which is really, really exciting. Okay, let's get into step one. Step one is ethically using OPC to go viral. Before I even explain what OPC is, I first want to just bring up this word viral. Because I'm going to be seeing this a lot from here on out during this live event. When I say the word viral, I want you to replace that word in your head with a very simple word, and that word is income. That's what I want you to hear. When I say viral, don't hear viral, hear income. And the reason why is on YouTube, virality equals income. When you go viral, and it doesn't even have to be crazy viral, you make money. Now, what we're going to be talking about with this first step is how to use OPC. And OPC equals virality. And if virality equals income, then that means OPC equals income. That is what we're talking about, is how to make real income from YouTube using OPC. And I do gotta give you guys a quick confession. Not every video you make is gonna go viral, but OPC, OPC shows you how to tip the scales in your favor so enough do. See, OPC takes away the luck of going viral. And this is one of my favorite parts. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I hate relying on luck. Like I said in the very beginning, I don't want it to be possible to succeed. I want it to be impossible to fail. I mean, I know a lot of you guys, you guys are very driven by safety, which by the way, a lot of people will tell you a flaw is a flaw. I think that's a very good thing. If you want to be safe, like that's good. Like that's what we're supposed to do as a human. We're supposed to make sure that we're safe and that we can live the right way. I don't want you guys having to wake up every single day knowing where your next meal is coming from or knowing if you're going to be able to afford rent for your place or whatever it might be. Even I don't even want you guys just living at a low level. I want you guys knowing that what you're doing is going to produce it without any luck because hope is just a failing formula. But the good news is 
Virality is a science and a formula. And for people who think that virality is purely luck, they obviously don't understand that YouTube is a mathematical algorithm. You see, this is actually something that cracks me up. People always say, Caleb, uh, YouTube is luck. It's not this like, and I'll tell them, no, dude, it's science. And they're like, no, it's not science. But I'm like, dude, literally, YouTube's algorithm is literally a science and formula that chooses which videos to go viral based off of statistics. Statistics like CTR, AWT, and so many other statistics that Devin's taught me about. Now, what I want you guys to do, I just want you to check out, this This will prove to you guys how much it is math and science. Check out this video real fast of Devin going through one of his students' channels. And so I'm going to show you guys another one of my clients. So we brought this person on in January and here's like the truth, like the actual results to like how everything's going with it. I want to be completely transparent with you guys. So, um, we started in on like around January 22nd and we've just honestly been slowly growing it organically. Um, and we've just been slow. We just keep uploading and this video, this channel just keeps slowly growing more and more and more becoming, um, uh, more and more possibility of going viral. And the reason why I know this is because check this out, this click through rate. So we were averaging, I want to say like three to like 5% for a bit. And then now it's been slowly growing up to where we almost have like 12% click through rate. Um, if we get to about 15, this channel is going viral and this client is going to be super happy. It took a little bit longer than expected. Um, it took a few weeks longer, but it, it's getting there. You see, Devin understands the math and science behind going viral on YouTube. He knows by looking at a channel, not even by looking at the videos they're uploading, just by looking at the stats, how he can make it go viral. And when you understand it, it's kind of like H2O. We were all taught this in school, right? Let's go, we're going back to school for a second. H2O. If you have two things of hydrogen, and you have one thing of oxygen, and if you have both those, you have both those components, two things of hydrogen, one thing of oxygen, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get water every single time without fault. It's the exact same thing with OPC. Look at this, guys. I'm getting creative with the slides. Come on. I need, I need, I need like a, I need some congratulations or what would be the right word? I need you guys in the chat. I need you guys. I want, I need respect for this slide. Look at this right here. All right. OPC. If you have OPC, you have O, you have P, and you have C, you have virality. See, YouTube is kind of like the universe. It doesn't care who has two things of hydrogen and who has one thing of oxygen. It doesn't matter what their ethnicity is, how much money they have, where they come from, their background, what they've done in the past. It doesn't matter anything. Their personality, how good they are at talking. It doesn't matter any of that stuff. If you have those components, you're going to get water every single time. And OPC is the same way. Like I said, YouTube doesn't care where you're from who you are, what your background is, how good you are, and it doesn't care about anything. All it cares is that you have OPC, and if you have those things, you have virality, and you're able to make a splash. Boom, I got to fit that joke in there, which I'm happy about. Okay, Devin's channels are not getting lucky dozens of times in a row. You see, Devin understands the, vi the formula to go viral. I mean, look at this, he does it over and over and over and over again. It can't be luck if that he understands the formula. Now, here's something that I didn't know was possible. Because of OPC, it makes subscribers irrelevant. I mean, even this is literally from Devin's Instagram story. He said, subscribers don't matter. This channel generates me about five to $10,000 a month. This one channel only gained 6,000 subscribers. And those came from what? From the, the, from the money he made. Like he got those because of the views he got. He starts off with zero subscribers and literally already is making five to $10,000 a month. Why? Because he has OPC. Here's another person Devin worked with. He has 1.2 million views and he has 7.8 thousand subscribers. And guess where he probably got those 7.8 thousand subscribers? He got them from the 1.2 million views that he has. You see, you don't make money from subscribers. And this is a big aha. If you guys are taking notes, I want you guys to write this one down. You don't make money from subscribers on YouTube. You make money from views. And the only reason subscribers matter at all is because it increases the chances that someone watches your videos again. But if you use OPC the right way, about 90% of your views won't be from subscribers, even if you have a million of them. You see, OPC allows you to go viral, sometimes even in your first week of launching a channel, even if you start with zero subscribers. There's just a few of Devin channels. I mean, this one is a brand new channel, zero subscribers he started with, and within 60 minutes of uploading his very first video, he already has 1,600 views. Guys, I know people that have been uploading for literally years, and they'll upload a video and only get 600 views, and they've been doing it for years. He started with a brand new channel that has zero subscribers and has 600 views. Why? Because he knows OPC. See, this is another one. This is literally in one week into his channel. He already has 1.4 million views, not even in that week, in just 48 hours inside of the time span of that one week. A 48 hour time span, he has 1.4 million views one week into his channel. Here's another new channel he added to the network. 2.6 million views, all getting started. Look at this. He made $4,690 in less than 10 days, all because of OPC. That's crazy. One channel, starting from zero subscribers, he made $4,690 10 days into a new channel. So here's what you want to know. 
what is OPC? And as promised, I'm gonna share that with you guys today. OPC is just a simple acronym that stands for one simple thing, and that's other people's channels. That's what OPC is. It's using other people's channels in order to go viral. He's something that I look up to a lot, and I know a lot of you guys probably know about this guy. His name is Tony Robbins. And what he says is he says, if you want to achieve success, all you need to do is find a way to model those who have already succeeded. And guys, I took this to heart when I was a little, little kid. When I first heard this, it was so similar to me. I was like, oh my goodness, if I just do what other people have done, I'm going to get what they've gotten. And it's the exact same thing with YouTube. If you do what other people's channels that have already worked are doing, you're going to get what they've gotten. You see, I really believe that there's power in patterns. And if you follow those patterns, you're going to get similar results to the exact same people that have done those patterns in the past. If you look at someone who's in shape and healthy, there's patterns they have. There's things they're doing. Are you guys getting this right now? There's things they're doing the right way. And because they do those things, they get in shape. Now, if someone else who's not in shape does those exact same things, over an amount of time, they're going to get the same results. And one of my uh, greatest mentors, I hope he's watching this, by the way, if you're watching this, Uncle Russell, send me a text and just let me know, like, hey, you're killing this, bro. This is fantastic stuff. Uh, this is good teaching. But one of the things Russell told me a long time ago, is he said, you can always tell who the pioneers are because they have arrows in their back and are laying face down in the dirt. That's some Russell Brunson, who's a very successful guy. And I can't tell you guys how true this is. You know, everyone always wants to be the pioneer. They want to be the first to do something. But the truth is the pioneers, the people who do stuff first, they're the ones that make all of the mistakes. They're the ones that mess up and have the flaws and have to learn the hard way. Like, why would you try to compete with a channel that's making a million dollars and has already tested and figured out what works and what doesn't work in that niche? Like, why would you try to compete with them? See, there's no such thing as an opportunity where you don't have to fail and make mistakes to make it work. But these big channels have already failed and made the mistakes for you. They wouldn't be so big if they didn't. So instead of trying to figure it out on your own, you should just find a channel that's making millions of dollars in one of the highest paying niches that Devin's discovered and you should model it. But guys, if there's a channel making a million dollars a month and you copy it and you model it the right way, you're gonna get, I mean, how, how impossible is it to think that you're gonna make at least $5,000 a month? So this is a massive aha, guys. When you understand this, this doesn't just help you with YouTube, this helps you with life. And this is the key to doing YouTube automation the right way. It's implementing OPC. You see, the biggest people that are making the most money on YouTube are following this formula. One of my good friends, his name is Jake Paul. He has well over 20 million subscribers. I think it actually is like 19.8. He has like 19.8 million subscribers on YouTube the last time I checked. And he uses OPC. I mean, he literally told me when I first met him, we we're actually in the studio. We were filming something for a project he's working on. And we were just hanging out. We've become really good friends since then. But this is the first time I ever met him. So I was so curious. How are you doing what you're doing with YouTube? And one of the secrets he gave me, I'm going to share this with you guys right now on this, on this free live event. Is he said, Caleb, what I do is I wake up every morning and I, I, cause he, at this time he was doing videos every single day. He'll wake up every morning, he'll go to YouTube, he'll find the number one trending videos and he'll do videos that are similar to that. And I was like, why did you do that? He's like, well, they're already trending. So if I do the same things that's already trending, I'm going to blow up with that trend. I'm going to go viral with that trend. I'm going to make money with that trend. So if he noticed that there was this big green slime trend on YouTube, that's just a crazy example, but he noticed there was some trend. Guess what? He would do a video about that. And then he noticed at one point, Jenga, I feel like it was, was trending. I don't know why Jenga was trending on YouTube. YouTube's a crazy place. He was, he, uh, Jenga was trending. So he did a video about the largest thing ever with Jenga. And he would always just model what was already trending. And because of that, because he used OPC, it was his shortcut to go viral and become literally one of the number one and highest paying YouTubers on the planet. You see, OPC is the easiest way to go viral because you don't have to come up with the video ideas. You don't have to come up with the titles. You don't have to come up with the thumbnails. You don't even really have to come up with the actual content. So guys, by now you're saying, all right, I'm in. Let, let's talk about this OPC thing. Here's the question. How do you use OPC? Well, it starts with a niche. You need to find what niche that you're going to go into because the niche is the most important part. And if you choose the right niche and use OPC, it's almost impossible to fail. Now, I'm personally not allowed to disclose Devin's niches or even the top niches he recommends and even how to find them because the niche, like I said, is one of the most valuable parts of YouTube. And sadly, Devin won't let me share that with, with everyone. Now, there is an easy way for you to, to, uh, to find and get the niches. And I'm actually going to gladly share that with you guys here in a little bit. But once you have found a profitable niche, here's how to use OPC. You guys, this is where we're going to get into the nitty gritty of YouTube. So if you have notes, I need you guys pulling out your notes, writing on every single thing in this step. I need you guys undivided attention because this is absolutely one of the most valuable parts of this training. Here's where it starts. You find the most recent viral videos in your niche. And you do that by number one, going to the search bar and typing in your niche, your niche's keywords. So whatever niche you're in, you're going to type in the words that's going to pull up videos to show you other videos in that niche. But here's the deal. When you type in the niche of keywords, it's going to pull up a bunch of random videos. It's not organized. Now, here's what YouTube did that made it so easy for people to make money on YouTube. They created this thing called filter. 
And if you click that top thing in the left corner, you click that filter button, it's gonna drop down all these different options of how you can search through videos. Hey guys, this is good stuff. This is some stuff, like when I, like I, I told my closest friends this and they were so excited to find out about this and I can't wait for you guys to find out about this one too. It drops down all these ways you can sort, uh, sort through different content and here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna go straight to the top. Guys, if you wanna become big, you just wanna model the biggest thing. So what I do is I go to the sort by and I click on that thing called view count and I make sure that I'm searching by the most viewed videos. But I also don't just want to have the most few videos. I want to do the most few videos that are the most recent. That way I have an even better chance of going viral. So I want to just click view count. I'll also click this month. And once I do that, I now, YouTube will sort through it for me. It'll create this, like all these different videos. It's algorithm will work and it'll show me the, view, the videos that have the most views in my, uh, in my niche and that also are the most recent popular videos in my niche. That way I'm making sure to be with the current trends, just like Jake Paul did. Now, after you find the most recent viral videos, here's what you're going to do. Number one, you're just gonna choose one to model. You're gonna look at one that's doing really, really well, it's trending, it's doing a great job, it's going viral, and all you're gonna do is first, it starts just modeling the title. So like, this is a real video on YouTube, it's called the 13 tips on how to survive wild animal attacks. It has 76 million views, 76 million views. I mean, people are liking this video. So I would just model the title like that. I would do something like 11 tricks to survive a life-threatening animal attack. Something similar, obviously I'm not copying, I'm just modeling. And then also what else goes to a video? Well, it's not just the title, even though the title is massively important, another part of it, is a thumbnail. So I'm gonna look at the thumbnail. I'm gonna look at the psychology behind it. Like, why did this thumbnail work? Well, there's a shark and it's going after this girl and, and there's an X, it's showing, oh, they did this the wrong way. And then there's the girl doing this the right way now and there's a check mark. So I'm like, okay, well, that psychology clearly worked. Let me model that thumbnail. So I would do something like this. And this is actually a thumbnail that literally cost me zero dollars to create, but I created this for this. And all this is, I'm not copying exactly, I'm just like literally, it's a bear chasing after it. And it's like the same exact psychology. So it's obviously gonna work because it worked in the past. And then I'm gonna model the content. So let's say it's 10 minutes, 12 seconds. Well, I'm not gonna get all like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do five minutes, I'm gonna do 20 minutes. No, it's, it's already proven that this niche likes videos that are 10 minutes long. So I'm gonna do a video that's maybe 10 minutes and 45 seconds, something that's similar to that. Now what's important to remember guys is you're not stealing, you're modeling. And this is a very important thing. I didn't copy it exactly. Once again, I believe in being fully ethical. I didn't download their thumbnail and just make it my thumbnail. I didn't copy their video and upload the same video. I didn't do the exact same title. What I did is I modeled it. And if you model it, how could you possibly not get views? I mean, think about it, 76 million people watch this video. And here's, here's the groundbreaking thing about YouTube. This is, by the way, this right here, I need to, get, I need to create a t-shirt about this and sell this out like, to all the YouTubers because this is the most powerful part about YouTube. Views aren't views, views are votes. And if there's 76 million people that watch the video, I don't view that as 76 million views. I view that as 76 million people voted saying they enjoyed this video and want to see more of it. You see, people already voted for what videos they want you to create. Now you just need to create them. Guys, this is so exciting. This is, this is a massive breakthrough. I know some of you guys are having massive ahas. I'm already seeing some things in the chat of some people that are relating with this and understand this. And again, I want to hear, like, what are you guys thinking about this right now? Because people already voted for it. If they, if they said, I watched the 13 tips on how to survive animal attacks, guess what? They want to see more videos like that because they clearly clicked on it. So if you do the 11 tricks to survive life threatening animal attacks and you do a similar thumbnail to them, they voted they want to see more of it. So they're going to click on yours when they get more of it. You see, YouTube encourages this because it's not about the creators, guys. It's about the viewers. And YouTube wants you to give them more about what they're voting for. That's what they want. Like YouTube, YouTube literally, their algorithm is designed for one purpose. You know how I was telling you about all the math and stuff? All that math and science that YouTube created with this algorithm. The only thing it's there for is to show viewers more of what they're interested in. Like people make this this complex thing. That's what they want to see. They just want to, they want they want their viewers to watch more about what they're already interested in. And OPC is a guaranteed way to find out what viewers are already interested in. So if you model OPC, it's pretty much inevitable that the algorithm will love you, and as a result, will start to favor your videos. Now here's something you do need to understand about OPC. The two most important parts about OPC are the title and the thumbnail. Like you must have a similar title and thumbnail to the videos in your niche. Like that is all that matters to going viral. And guys, what I'm about to tell you, and what you're about to hear, I don't encourage this at all, but it's the truth. And like I said, dude, like once again, I'm gonna continue to reiterate this. For me, integrity is my number one value. And the only reason I'm gonna share what I'm about to share with you guys is so you understand e YouTube even more and can use it in an ethical way. So like what I'm about to tell you guys is not what I encourage, but it's something important to know. That way you can use YouTube the right way. And that's that a lot of faces automated YouTube channels have terrible content. I mean, some of you guys maybe have seen this before. Like a lot of these videos, they, they do top 10 videos, right? And they talk about the top 10 things of this, like whatever it might be. A lot of times the facts aren't even true. They made up the facts. They make up different things. The video has blurry images in it. The editing is absolutely terrible. They misspell words. They rearrange words. Like the videos they create are literally terrible for some of them. Obviously the big ones, they don't. They have a brand and they have made sure to actually establish trust. 
But even the ones that are terrible content, they still go viral and make crazy amounts of money. And the reason why they make money is because you get paid whether someone enjoys your videos or not, because YouTube doesn't have a refund policy. If someone watches your video and they watch an ad before it, you have monetization on it, you're gonna get paid every single time. This is the biggest concept about YouTube. When someone watches your video, you get paid. Views equals income. Virality equals income. Now it doesn't matter if they like the video or not. Say they watch the video and they go through it and they're three minutes in, they're like, this was a terrible video. You already got paid for that. And then they can't click, I didn't like this video. And then all of a sudden YouTube says, do and get the money. You get the money no matter what. See, that is how much going viral is purely about the title and thumbnail. Guys, these, these are big breakthroughs that we're having right now. I'm, I'm like, this is, this is the part I was so excited about sharing with you guys. But if you wanna create long-term sustainable channels where viewers don't just make money, make you money once, but they keep coming back for more, like Devin and his students do, then the content has to be good. And that's one thing I really wanna harp on. Even though you don't have to have good content, in order to go viral, in order to create real sustainable channels, you need to do what Dev and his students do, and that's make really good content that people enjoy. Now here's the deal. Once OPC is working and making you money, only then you can give yourself and your team the luxury of trying to get creative. Only then. And I see so many people, they try to get creative off the bat, they come up with their own titles, their own thumbnails. Guys, I'm telling you, get OPC working, and then if you want to get creative, you can. But guys, there's two reasons for this. Number one, you don't want to be a starving artist, okay? And like, I know a lot of you business person, you're like, wait a second, I don't want to be an artist at all, right? Like that's me personally, I don't even want to be an artist. But there's some of you guys who you are artistic. You do have these creative like wants. You want to be able to try different things and see if this title works and this thumbnail works. And if that's you, that's fine. You can do that. But just don't do it while you're starving. Do it once you're a rich artist. You see, once you use OPC to make money, now you're able to profitably be able to do that. And that's the first reason. Like, I don't want you to be a starving artist. Even if you are an artist, wait till you're a rich artist until you start getting creative. And number two, you want to learn the patterns of your niche. See, even if you are someone who wants to get creative, I recommend you do OPC off the bat. That way you understand what titles work in your niche, what thumbnails work in your niche. You need to set down the foundation where you understand how these patterns actually work. And once you understand those patterns, you can actually start to make educated guesses and educated decisions on what title and what thumbnail you want to create on your own. Now, once again, guys, if you model a video with 76 million views to a T, and this is the most important thing to understand, guys, you have a, like, don't you think you at least have a pretty good chance of getting lucky? And don't you think you have a pretty good chance of making you at least some money? I mean, the only way you can fail if you use OPC is if you just don't model the videos correctly. Now, I want you to imagine a video. You upload a video every single day using OPC. Imagine that. Imagine you upload a video every single day using OPC. But not just that. You do it across multiple channels. Don't you think you guys have pretty good odds of making money? Guys, that's my focus. My, my focus here isn't to make it possible for, for you to succeed. Everything goes in this. I want to make this almost impossible for you to fail. See, that is the power of OPC. Now, maybe this looks a little bit overwhelming, and I understand that. But I promise you guys, it isn't overwhelming when all of this happens while you sleep. And that's the best part. You can get all of this fully automated. Because I don't want you to focus on this right now. In fact, I don't even want you to focus on just one channel right now. All I want you to focus on is your first automated video. That's what I want all of your attention set on. Because the truth is, you are just one automated video away from an entire network of YouTube channels that are earning you passive income. Because once you know how to create and automate one video, you will have a machine to do as many as you want. And that brings us into step two, which is the good part, which turns the income into passive income. And that's how to automate your first YouTube channel so that it earns you true passive income without taking any of your time. Because right now, because of OPC, you know what videos to create. In fact, you actually understand the basic philosophy behind how to go viral using OPC, but it is in no way passive yet. It is in no way passive. So the question is this, how do you automate it to where those videos are being created every day without you spending any time on it? And I'm talking every single day. You see, let me go back to that first time I met Jake Paul. When I first met him, literally 10 minutes into the conversation, this is what I asked him. I said, how, not just like, I, like this, like I, he got into the nitty gritty more so, I wanted to know like, just like overall, what is your best advice for going viral on YouTube? What's your best advice? Jake looked me in the eyes he has, with the exact same shades he has on right there. And he goes, it's every day, bro. And at first I thought he was kidding because he literally has a song that has like 260 million views. It's called It's Every Day, Bro. He wrote a book about it called It's Every Day, Bro. So I thought he was just like joking with me. Like, it's every day, bro. Like, he just didn't want to answer it. And I was like, no, seriously, Jake. I was like, I really want to know. Like, I'm a, I'm a curious person. He said, no, dude. It's, it, you just need to upload every single day. He's like, if you upload every single day, you're just creating assets every single day that are paying you. It's inevitable. And they all pour into each other and you just continue to gain momentum over and over and over again. And that momentum compounds and has exponential growth. But here's the truth, guys. Although that is the key to YouTube, you don't want to have to be in the trenches every day doing OPC. And you definitely don't want to be creating the videos yourself. I mean, you guys remember how hard it is to create the videos yourself. I shared with you guys in the old way. Like, put the chat. Do you guys want to be doing this every single day, but you don't want to be creating the videos? Because that personally is how I like to live and how I want to do YouTube. So how do you do that? How do you automate your channel? 
How do you automate your channel so well that you don't even need to do OPC once yourself if you don't want to? Not even one time. You don't even have to go to the page, find your niche words, or sorry, yeah, search your niche words, model the title, you don't have to find the videos. How do you do it to where uh, like it, it's happening for you? But here's, here's how it works, and this is a big concept right here. As a human, you have 24 hours in a day. But as an entrepreneur, you have 24 hours plus anyone who works for you and is on your team. Guys, this is huge. Everyone always tells me you can't buy 24 hours. I'm like, yeah, but I'm an entrepreneur. I got 24 hours and anyone on my team is an extra 24 hours. See, every team member you add is an extra 24 hours. That means three team members is an extra 72 hours in your day. This is the beautiful part about life. And I gotta give you guys a quick disclaimer, right? If I haven't made this clear enough, let me make it clear now. Success does take time, but that doesn't mean it has to be your time. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna throw in a part two of this disclaimer. You have me saying double disclaimer. I've never seen this before. Yes, part two. YouTube automation does take time, but that doesn't mean it has to be your time. I mean, like I said, guys, creating videos are massively time consuming. And even with YouTube automation, I will never lie to you and say it isn't time consuming, but it doesn't have to be your time that it is consuming. This is one of the coolest parts about YouTube automation. It is time consuming, but it doesn't have to be your time that it is consuming. You see, there are five key components to a viral video, and you can get a team to do all five of those things on autopilot for next to nothing. You see, a team truly puts the automation into YouTube automation. Without your team, you would just be a regular YouTuber doing it the old way. Now, maybe say, okay, 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 I want a team, that sounds great, but also, I don't wanna have to hire a full-time in-person team and have to get an entire office that's complicated and I have to do that already. Maybe you already have a business, you're a single mother, it's like, I don't got time for all this, I can't do this. And the good news is, with the world we live in today, you don't have to. You see, you can hire hardworking and talented overseas virtual team members from websites like Fiverr, Upwork. And guys, nowadays, there's so many different websites where you can outsource and automate and delegate different actions to all sorts of different people. That's the beauty of the day and age we live in. And the truth is, they'll get the job done right and they'll do it for next to nothing and be more happy to do it. See, this is the easiest part. Now, here's the deal. If you know what to say in your job post, you're pretty much going to get at least 10 to people to apply for even sometimes as low as $3 an hour every single time. In fact, I've never gotten less than 10 people to apply for any one of my job posts. And trust me guys, I put up a lot of job posts because out of all the 15 businesses I failed, there's a lot of different crazy different jobs that needed to be had. And every single one of them got at least 10 people. In fact, my business partner's cousin, and basically he, he's like basically my cousin. Like we're so close. He even actually lives with us. He actually uh, has, been, has been doing agency over the past few months. So he was doing a social media marketing agency. And it wasn't just like he was doing it. He was full out obsessing. He went through an entire course about it. He was going in doing different meetings. He was learning about it. He was failing and trying. He was all in with this, uh, with this agency thing. But after I share with him, just even a little bit of what I'm kind of sharing with you guys today is actually, I didn't even share all of this with him. After I shared that, he literally decided to quit his agency to do YouTube automation full time. And guess what? In 10 hours of creating his first job post, he already had 24 proposals. 24 proposals, 24 people saying, I want to be on your team. Some of these as low as $3 an hour for some of these people reaching out. Because I blocked out the title of the job post because I don't want to give away his niche out of respect to him. Uh, but at the exact 24 proposals that he got. And by the way, I just want to say this too. That shows you guys how much I actually believe in this. Like I'm even telling my family and my closest friends to go all in with YouTube automation. And like, actually one of my cousins is on here as well. So shout out to Noah Benoit, bro. You're going to kill YouTube automation, man. And I'm super excited that you're learning about this with everyone else as well. Now here is the trickiest part. It's that you have to try to figure out not how to hire them. The hiring is easy. You have to figure out how to turn a few people overseas working for a few dollars an hour into a world-class content creation team that cranks out viral videos consistently. And the fact that Devin can actually do this is what impresses me most about his entire YouTube automation formula. In fact, actually, I'm going to get even more of that uh, towards the end of our training today. But when you do have it figured out, the most it would cost to have your team create a viral quality video would be $100. That's it. Hundred dollars at the very, very most. I mean, that's what Devin usually spends on even some of the channels that are that are making ten thousand dollars a month. That's the most he usually spends, even if they're making that much money. But that's for way more complex videos. If you know the right niche to choose, your team can actually produce viral quality videos that make you a lot of money for as low as thirty dollars. And that's what Devin spends on a lot of his channels. And in fact, actually, you guys can even sometimes get even lower than that. Uh, my cousin Brian, I'm just gonna call him my cousin from now on. My cousin Brian is actually getting viral quality videos made for seven dollars per video, and that's all because of the, uh, the niche that he chose. Now you guys are probably doing math in your head right now, because as any business owner, when I hear numbers, like I'm automatically doing math in my head. So you're saying, okay, let's just let's just go the high end. Let's say I had to spend fifty dollars per video. Right, that's 30 videos every single day because I want to upload every single day. I want to follow Jake's advice. I want to do what every single good YouTuber does. That's what Devin does. Every single one of his channels upload every day. So you want to upload every single day. That's what you're hoping for. 
Let's say each video costs you $50. So you do a math, you're like, okay, that's $1,500 a month. Let's just go towards the high end just to be actually conservative. Now, if you're a business owner, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking 30 assets and student income for just $1,500, what a deal. I mean, if you know anything about investments, to be able to get 30 assets and student income for just $1,500 is something you really can't do anywhere else other than YouTube automation. And some of you guys you may even be thinking back to that one channel that Devin did that made him $4,692 in just 10 days. You know what's crazy about that? He only uploaded two videos during that time span. So let's go on the high end. By the way, let's just say he spent the most you can possibly spend to create a video, it's $100. Let's just say that. So that's two videos. It's $200 totally spent. He made $4,692. That means he profited $4,492 in the first 10 days of his channel with only two videos. So if you were, if you were to have a profit and loss statement on this channel, that's what it would be. That means after just two videos, he already had a 2,300% return on his investment. That means 10 days to a new channel, he already had a 23X ROI. Guys, these stats is what absolutely blows my mind about YouTube automation. Now, like I said before, obviously Devin's channels aren't typical and most channels don't take off this fast. But if you did upload and paid for 15 times more video than that, you would still profit $1,692. $1,692 that you are taking home. Now, let's imagine your channel doesn't take off as quickly as Devin's unicorn channel I just showed you. Let's imagine you have the exact same numbers as far as like how much you're spending. Let's go back to the original analogy. Let's say you're doing $50 per video, $30, or sorry, 30 videos a month. You're spending $1,500. And let's say that's what you spend the first month of your video, or sorry, of your channel. The first month you produce 30 videos, 30 assets, it costs you $1,500. Now, let's imagine, because by the way, this is possible, you only make $1,093 back. So you're not profitable month one. From all 30 assets combined, all you make is $1,093. So if you had a P&L on this, on this uh, channel, if you had a profit and loss statement, that means you, sp or you made $1,093 and you lost $1,500. So that means month one, which once again, I'm gonna tell you guys, every channel off the bat is not always, I can't guarantee that's gonna be profitable. Although most of Devin's channels are, I obviously can't guarantee that. So let's imagine month one, you lose $407. But let's go to month two. You keep it going because you understand that every single video you upload compounds. Now let's say month two, you make $2,243. You, you literally, you continue to grow, which by the way, this isn't a stretch at all because once again, you have 60 assets all growing each other. If you guys remember what we talked about earlier, there are assets, there's streams of income, you're adding, you have 60 streams of income. They're all compounding. Maybe one video doesn't need someone. Like this is very, 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 very doable. And then month two, so let's say you make $2,243, you spend $1,500. Because by the way, month two of the channel, it's not like you're spending more for videos in order to be profitable. You're spending the exact same amount. That means you take home $743 profit. So that means in your first two months of this channel, you lost $407 month one. You made $743 month two. That means that you have about a $336 profit on this channel. Now, even though that channel isn't off to a fantastic start, that's still $336 of passive income, guys. $336 of passive income. So make that much passively in a month from real estate. You would need to buy a single family home depending on where you're at. Think about that. These are assets that you're getting. So let's continue this analogy. You're two months in. Let's go to month three. Let's imagine on month three, you make $1,831. Once again, doable. Let's say it's profit. You profit $1,831. All the videos are continuing to grow. Your channel is growing. Even, at, even though it's at a slower pace than Devin, your channel is just growing, growing, growing. Well, also, here's the cool part about that. Let's say month three, you make $1,831 profit. Theoretically, you, you could literally make month one profitable in month three because people from this could be watching videos from here still and you're getting paid in month three. So actually, technically, you might not even be at a loss on month one, but let's just continue with this analogy. Month four, you make $1,500. Uh, it goes down a little bit, right? Because once again, it's not always uphill. It's not like every single time you're just gonna continue to do more and more and more. Sometimes seven channels, they do a little bit less the next month than they did the previous month. So let's say you only make $1,500 profit. So you're just a little bit worse. Let's say the next month, you do $1,600 profit. So it's just like a little little bit jump, but it's kind of still on staying, uh, staying at the exact same uh, pace. But then let's imagine month six, you do $4,492 profit. So you have your first viral video, let's say. You have one viral video, or maybe you have two videos that kind of go similar, semi-viral. Like guys, I know that any of you guys would take this because don't forget, this is all automated. So this is all happening on autopilot and you could literally have multiple channels by now. But at the exact same time, I also know some of you guys, you may be thinking, well, these numbers seem a little bit unrealistically high, Caleb. And I can understand that. Honestly, I would respect that. And my, when Devin was first showing me the channels, I needed to know more. I was skeptical at first. But it's all about perspective. Because for Devin, these numbers seem unrealistically low. I mean, actually, I saw this screenshot, uh, or sorry, I saw this on his Instagram story and I screenshot this and threw it in here. He said that December has been a, ma a bad month for views. Now, when I first saw this, I looked at it, I was like, oh, in December he has 21,000 views. That's okay. I mean, obviously nothing great, but I wouldn't really call that a bad month. But then I noticed if I look closer, 
He says the last 48 hours. So in, in a 48 hour time span, he had 21,000 views on his channel. And for him, that's a bad month of views. It's all about perspective. I mean, don't forget what took you six months to get to $4,492 profit. Devin did in that one channel in just two videos. What took you six months? He did in two videos. The first two videos made a $4,492 profit. Now, obviously, do not expect that. Once again, I gotta be, I, I wanna be transparent. I don't want you to expect that. But you do have to think it's at least possible to have a month like that six months into your channel when Devin did it in only two videos. If you're doing this for six months straight, don't you think you would have the same results Devin got in just two videos? Especially if you could follow his formula exactly. You guys over here, that's 180 videos. That's one video every day, all using OPC. That's the real thing. All using videos that people already voted they wanna see. You're modeling these videos to a T. Don't you think? I mean guys, even an extreme skeptic can admit that that is at least somewhat possible. But I know that also some of you may not be able to pay that every day when you're first getting started. Even though once your channel is profitable, it'll be an absolute no-brainer for you. I'd be ignorant to think that every single person off the bat is gonna be able to do a video every single day and fully automate it. But here's the good news. You can start off with only one to three videos a week and use your profits from those videos to start uploading daily. I mean, let's say you upload once a week. All right, you're uploading one video a week, you have it automated. Guys, that's two times more assets than it took Devin to get here every single month, all using OPC. But the real key guys, when you're automating, is you need to make sure that you hire the right people for your channel. Because even though finding people is easy, you got to know what to look for when choosing someone from the dozens of overseas people who want to make the videos for you. Because if you don't, not only will you lose out the, on the money you paid them, but more importantly, you lose out on the money you would have made from going viral. But here's one of my favorite parts about YouTube automation. It's like even deeper on this. It's the profit margin. I mentioned that very slightly earlier. See, with other business models, you have the cost to produce and fill the product. You have the cost to run ads. You have the cost, but actually, let me just pause there. I know people who actually run ads. You guys relate to this. Sometimes you'll spend $500,000 and you're all excited because you made $550,000 or whatever it is. Like, you're barely profitable. You're like, in YouTube automation, you make $500,000. You're taking pretty much all of that home. You have, a co you have the cost of an office or other properties, cost of merchant processing fees, cost, and when you get to the big leagues, like, the merchants take a decent amount. You have the cost of equipment. You have cost of refunds and disputes. You have cost of your time, cost of business partners, cost of dozens of subscription services and software. And you even have the cost to hire a full in-person team that has to grow as you scale. Because with normal businesses, it doesn't stay the same. Every single time you grow, that's even more people you need to make sure it continues to go. And because of that, with other business models, it can almost be impossible to make profitable even if you are successful because you have these rising overheads that eat your profits alive. And like these are a little bit of profits you have left over, if any profits at all. But with YouTube automation, this is one of the best parts. After you hire your team, there is no other overhead for the entire channel. So there's no other cost to YouTube automation other than a few overseas virtual team members. That means you have what I love, which is called a fixed upfront cost. So the moment you're profitable, you're basically profitable forever. Like I said, when Devin starts a channel, let's say he's paying on the high end, $1,500 every single month to be able to produce these videos, to be able to produce 30 assets every single day. The moment he's more profitable and he makes more than $1,500, it never rises. He never needs more team members. He it never goes up month two. They never take more of a percentage and YouTube pays you less the more views you get. All of those profits continue to go straight into your bank account. And in fact, it's not even that you don't have your profits eaten alive. Profits means more profits because that's just more money you could spend on creating more teams to create even more channels. And one of the best parts is you only need one video a month to go semi-viral, not even really viral, just semi-viral in order to be wildly profitable with YouTube automation. And that video doesn't even have to be from this month. This is a really cool concept as well, guys. And by the way, I'm seeing all your guys' questions in the chat. Once again, I'm gonna be getting to that at the very, very end. And by the way, I'm loving all the feedback. And I even see there's someone on here who actually does YouTube automation, which is super, super cool to see that, that you guys are in here doing that. Now with a business, if you launch a product and it flops, you completely failed. You guys, this concept is so awesome. And don't forget, like I said, videos are assets that don't die, which means a video that flopped three months ago can still go viral any moment. So with a normal business, you launch a product, it flops, that product is dead. It no longer can make you money. It's no longer an asset. It didn't work. It didn't convert. But videos don't die. So a video that you posted three months ago, let's say, or let's go even back. Let's say you're out of a channel. You're six months in. A video from month two, if the algorithm starts to favor it, because maybe some people that watched the video from month six, it was similar to that video, so they go watch that one, the algorithm starts to enjoy that, it may blow up that video and go extremely viral. So on YouTube, even your quote unquote failures end up compounding into your successes. And don't forget, virality equals more virality. So if you have one viral video, that pours in the next one. 
I mean, when I first went viral on Facebook, although I wasn't getting paid, it worked the exact same way. If I had one video go viral, my other videos go viral because everyone that watched that video would go watch more of them. And the algorithm would not just start to favor, and this is the cool part, it doesn't just favor your videos. If one person likes a video, they go watch another one. Now the algorithm could start to favor your channel. So with that being said, guys, fund your overseas virtual team. I hope that you guys understand. It's an absolute no-brainer, especially since the cost rises or never rises, even when your profits do. But let's just imagine something, all right? I'm gonna make it even better for you. Let's imagine you could take out the one upfront cost of YouTube automation, which is hiring your team. That way you're not risking any of your own money personally. Imagine that could happen. But how would you do that? How could you, how could you hire your team for no upfront cost? I mean, that sounds impossible, right? But there's actually three ways to do this. I'm gonna share these three ways with you right now. The first way is we actually have a way for you to get the team members to work for free on your first channel until it is profitable without taking on any debt or ripping anyone off even a little bit. The second way is there's also a way to have someone fund your channel for you so you don't have to risk any of the money personally. And the third way is there's an easy way for you to make the videos yourself and tell your channel is profitable enough to hire a team and automate your channel even if you don't have time to create a video every day right now. There's even niches to where the videos yourself, it doesn't even require much editing. There's actually ways for you to have to do no editing at all if you choose the right niche. And guys, there's even another way. Now this one isn't completely free, but it gives you the best bang for your buck if you don't wanna invest a crazy amount up front, but you still wanna get that team going, you still wanna hire them. There's even a way to give every video you upload up to five extra chances to go viral. So let's say you upload four videos. That means with this method, you can get 20 extra chances to go viral from four videos alone. Those four ways are some, one of the easiest ways to get started, even if you don't have a crazy amount of capital to start YouTube automation right now. I'm even gonna be sharing with you guys how to actually start to implement those at the very end of this. Now, once you fund your channel and get your team of key players in place to where YouTube, to where your YouTube channel will be a well-oiled machine that cranks out viral videos every single day without you lift a finger, that brings step three. And that is now scaling into your YouTube empire. Scaling into YouTube empire. Because once you have one channel automated, now all you have to do is copy and paste and create even more channels that are all creating assets every single day. Guys, I wanna know who is excited about hearing this third step. I even seen that there's a few questions that came in about people loving step two, they were loving even step one, but they wanna know how do you do this multiple times over? Like they're starting to get kind of on one channel, but how do you scale into more? Well, there's a handful of key SOPs, which if you guys don't know what that means, that stands for standing operating procedures, uh, standard operating procedures, in order to scale without complexity. And if you have these SOPs, it's not that very difficult to scale, but you need to follow them exactly because the last thing you want is to scale up and have everything fall apart. Because I've done, I've done this before. You know, out of the 15 businesses I failed, there were some that I even got to work, but the scaling, that's when everything would fall apart. I have to go start over again. But once those are in place, scaling is simple. I mean, like I said, you're just one automated video away from an entire network of automated YouTube channels earning you passive income. But here's one key thing that you need to know about scaling. And once again, if you guys are taking notes, this is a very important one to jot down. You only scale when it's fully automated to where you don't even touch it. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story real fast. When I was, I think it was 14 at this, at this time, uh, my, a guy named Grant Cardone, who's a very close friend of mine, someone who's mentored me, I absolutely love Greg Cardone. I know a lot of you guys have probably read his book, The Next Rule. He owns, I think, almost well over a billion dollars in real estate. Anyway, he's long story short, he's the real deal. And I really looked up to him when I was like 14, massively. I watched his videos every single day. And I got this really cool opportunity where he wanted to have me come on his show and he wanted to interview me. So we did the interview. And I got on set and guys, I was super nervous. My heart was pounding. I was all excited. And there was one really, like, there was one line I was super excited about sharing because I know that Grant Cardone has said in the past that you need seven streams of income. He was like, you know, millionaires have seven streams of income. So I literally worked so hard at 14 to make sure I had seven full streams of income. And I go on the show, within the first few minutes, I say, Grant, guess what? I have seven streams of income. And Grant goes, huh? And then goes into a whole other question. And at first I was confused. I'm like, wait a second, Grant, like, aren't you going to tell, like, aren't you going to congratulate me on that? Aren't you going to be proud of me for that? And he just didn't acknowledge it for the rest of the show. So I said, oh, well, and then Grant ended up inviting me into his office. I sat down with him. We just had a good chat for like two hours. We were talking about family and all sorts of really good stuff like that. And about towards the end of it, I said, Grant, I got to know before I go, man, why aren't you impressed with my seven streams of income? And he laughed and chuckled. He said, what do you mean? I was like, well, I hear you say I need seven streams of income and I have seven streams of income. I'm curious why you're not impressed. He said, because Caleb, a stream of income is means that you have income coming in and that stream's going whether you're dumping water into it or not. So he basically said, Caleb, do you add this to where it's it's literally these things are paying you if you don't work on it at all? And I was like, well, no, I need to work on each and every single one of them. He said, well, then all you're doing is you're just kind of dabbling at seven different things rather than going all in at one. And the moment that thing is fully automated, the moment that thing is fully to where you don't even have to touch it in order for it to work, then you create your second. 
He said it's only a stream of income if you're not the one that's pouring water into it. And see, that is the exact same thing with YouTube automation. I don't want you creating multiple channels off the bat. And there are actually ways you can do this. We're going to be talking about it a little bit later. But I don't want you guys creating multiple channels off the bat, getting distracted. What I want is I want you to get one channel automated. That way you can scale after that. And once that channel is fully automated, where you're not even one touching it, you're not the one working on it, you're not creating the videos, and videos are being created consistently without you touching it, that is when you can start to scale. Now, once you do have your first automated video, creating an automated channel is simple. It's easy. And being profitable is simple. And then that brings us to the second one, which is even easier than the first one because you already have the process in place. You see, if you have one channel, creating the second one is simple because all the processes are set out. You can just have the one team literally either do the second channel or train your next uh, team as well. And you have everything lined up to where all you have to do is literally just repeat. And once you have your second channel in place, you can basically repeat as much as you want over and over and over again. That's how Devin actually got to raise dozens of cash flow channels uh, that he does. And if you follow the formula right, you can actually eventually have dozens of cash flow channels just like Devin does. I mean, this picture that you see in the top left, these are all of the YouTube channels that he's a part of. In fact, it doesn't even fit all on the screen. He can keep scrolling and show you even more of them. And the reason why is he has the SOPs in place, but you need to make sure you have the right SOPs in place so that it doesn't break at scale. Now here's the deal. I've shared with you guys the three simple steps to automate your channel. You guys know that you need to be using OPC. You guys know that you need to have it fully automated and get a team. That way it's not consuming your time. You know that you need to scale and have the correct SOPs in place. And probably what you're thinking, and this is what I'd be thinking if I were in your guys' position right now, is there has to be more to all this, right? Well, there is. You see, the truth is 99% of people on YouTube don't make real money. And it's ironic because 99% of people on YouTube also don't know the formula for the new way that we've kind of been talking about a little bit today. You see, there's a duplicatable art and science to being in that 1% of people on YouTube that are making real, real money and real passive income. See, learning what does not work is just as valuable as learning what does work. And there is a formula for success on YouTube that has not just worked for Devin, but it's worked for countless others across the world. So here's my question to you. From what you've heard so far, and you've heard a lot, how would you like to have your very own automated YouTube channels? I would love to see that in the chat below and see if that was something that you guys would like. Like, how would you like to use YouTube to make passive income? And more importantly, here's the real kicker, do it by following a proven step-by-step -step formula that works. And what if you could start right now, no matter what your level of experience is? And that's one of the awesome parts about this opportunity. How confident would you be if Devin and I walked you through every single step of the process? We held your hand through the process of you creating automated YouTube channels. Well, if you're interested in learning how, here's what we're going to go ahead and do next. We're going to build your YouTube automation business together from start to finish. And when we're done, you will have your very first profitable automated YouTube channel. So if you're tired of relying on income that only comes in if you go into work, and if you want to get your first channel profitable fast with a lot less effort, and you want to learn the skill of creating automated YouTube channels that create true passive income, or if you just want someone on your team to learn that skill of creating automated YouTube channels that create true passive income without the need to step in front of the camera, edit even a single video, or be good at tech. And if you want to take advantage of our era's greatest opportunity, which is YouTube automation, then this program is specifically to you, for you. Now guys, today I only had time to get into the basic YTA framework. And although I'm sure you guys learned a lot and you for sure understand the opportunity of YouTube automation. I and mean, I see all the, the comments you guys are putting in here of what you've been learning, your takeaways, which I'm absolutely loving. And I can't wait to even go on social media after this and see what you guys have posted about what you learned today. But as you probably know, we barely scratched the surface and we didn't have nearly enough time to get into the formula. I mean, like I said before, that day that I met Devin, he taught me the formula for YouTube. And today I didn't have hours and hours and hours to be able to go down and break that thing down. All I was able to do is give you guys the basic framework. Now, I know those of you who are listening closely and taking a lot of notes, you still have a lot of questions left about this opportunity, no matter how much you believe in it. So here's what we're going to go ahead and do. This is the exciting part. I believe in YouTube automation so much that I am personally writing Devin a $100,000 check to create an eight week YTA masterclass for you. Does that sound fair to you guys? And a $100,000 check because that's how much I believe in this vehicle and in this opportunity of YouTube automation. I truly believe this is the next big business model. But until now, he's only taught people one-on-one, -on -one. but I'm actually gonna be getting him to pull back the curtain and for the first time ever reveal his entire formula for YouTube automation and not hold anything back. In fact, when I first told him about this, when I told him I'm gonna cut him this check, the number one part about this deal is you cannot hold anything back, bro. I literally told him, Devin, I need you to share inside this masterclass 
everything that you share with your one-on-one -on -one students and more. So here's what's included inside of the eight-week YTA Masterclass that I have Devin create for you. It is designed to be an eight-week online class for you to take in your free time that walks you through the entire step-by-step -step process up until you have your first automated channel. It holds your hand up until then, and then your second, and then your third, so on and so forth. But you can go at your own pace. Your team member can go through this way faster than eight weeks with ease. Like that's what person I would do. And if you guys are crazy like me, I would just lock myself in a room over a weekend and obsess and learn the entire YouTube automation formula that's taught inside this eight week masterclass. Now here's what we did to make it even more simple for you. Cause I wanna make sure you're able to go through this, you understand everything and you're getting to the place where you're able to set up a profit YouTube channel. So we broke it down into four different sections. The first part is how to set up your first channel the right way. You're gonna be learning how to set up your first automated YouTube channel so you don't mess all up and have to pay for your mistakes later. I wanna make sure you guys do it right from the start, that way you don't ever have to restart. You're gonna be learning how to name your YouTube channel the right way for virality, profits, growth, and sustainability. You guys are gonna be learning how to create a profile and cover photo that makes you look like an established channel with a million subscribers. Guys, even if you only had 300 subscribers, I want people thinking this is a big channel just by the way you present yourself. Uh, you're also gonna be learning the rules of YouTube, both written and unwritten, both the rules that they will tell you up front and the, learn and the rules that take you years to learn like Devin had to. You're gonna be learning all those rules that you must fully understand before ever uploading even your first video. You're gonna be learning how to optimize your channel's features and settings for full growth and high earnings per view and this is actually super cool. First time I uh, ever had Devin sit down and teach me this stuff, he showed me channels and, or sorry, settings in my channel and different features in my channel that I had no clue were even there that instantly had me making more money. You guys are gonna be learning how YouTube's analytics work and how you can use them as, as your unfair advantage. You're gonna be learning how to connect your bank to YouTube the correct way so you don't miss out on any money like I did because when I first started, I had no clue how to connect the right way and there was actually money sitting there that I didn't even know existed. And you guys are also gonna be learning the Pluto method, which I can't even really get deep into, but I'm telling you, that's gonna be one of your favorite parts about this section. Part two of the eight week masterclass, you're gonna be learning the science of going viral and getting views that completely eliminates luck. So I actually had Devin sit down and share all the math that he knows behind virality. You know how he did that one video where he knew what percentages his channel needed to be at and you guys don't even know about CTR and all those different things. He's gonna be showing you guys about the math behind virality and you're gonna be learning how to use OPC at scale. That way you can't just do it for once, but you can continue to do it over and over again. You're gonna be learning the outsourceable art of ethical clickbait titles and thumbnails that makes viewers have to stop scrolling and click on your video. And by the way, this is one of my favorite parts because Devin was showing me some of his videos. Every single one of them, I was like, hey, can we just watch that real fast? <laughs> because they have a way of getting you just want to click on it. And that's the most important part. Remember, every click, that's when you're getting paid. So I want to make sure you know how to actually get people to click on your videos so that you get that you make money doing YouTube automation. You're gonna be learning the golden time to upload your videos that drastically increases the odds that you go viral. And you literally might as well not even upload any other time. I didn't even know this golden time existed, but that's what time Devin uploads on all of his channels. You're gonna be learning the YouTube automation shortcut software that finds OPC for you every time. That software is super, super cool. He's gonna be breaking out what it is and how to use it. You're gonna be learning the viral formula behind OPC so you can create original content that makes you as big as the channels that you're modeling. And you're even gonna be learning how to turn viewers into subscribers so that they come back and make you money more than once. And part three of the YTA Masterclass. And by the way, I just wanna hear like, how many of you guys are excited to be learning about this inside of the YTA Masterclass? Like for me, to me the $100,000 check account was 100% worth it, knowing that you guys are gonna get to learn all this stuff. Part three, you're gonna be learning how to actually create the video so they're ready to upload. So you're gonna be learning how to write the scripts for the videos, how to do the voiceovers for your videos. You're gonna be learning how to find copyright free footage, music and photos, because if the footage, music and photos you use is copyrighted, you don't make a dime from YouTube. You're gonna be learning how to edit your videos. You're gonna learn how to create the thumbnails for your videos. You're gonna learn how to write the description and how to even tag your videos. In part four, and this is personally my favorite part, because it takes all the other three steps and make it to where you don't even have to be the one to do them, and that's how to create the team that will automate your channel. You're gonna lose, you're gonna learn how to use automation to scale profit, not hours worked. You're gonna be learning the key team, team members that any profitable YouTube automation channel always has. So you're gonna learn the exact team members that Devin hires when he's first starting off a channel. You're gonna learn how to find and hire the best people the first time so you don't waste any money on the bad ones. You're gonna learn why the best team members are found in the most unexpected places and where that place is and why that place is oddly the cheapest in the entire industry. You're gonna be learning how to make your team work together in perfect harmony so that your videos are being created and uploaded regularly without you having to put out any fires. I don't know about any business owners out there, if you guys have ever hired a team, one of the worst parts in the beginning is trying to put out fires, making sure they work together. I'm telling you guys what, when you have to put out fires consistently, that is not YouTube automation, and that is for sure not passive income, so Devin's gonna be showing you how to do that. You're also gonna learn how to turn automation from something as a dream and it's something that you wake up to every single day. 
that was simpler and more seamless to set up than you could have ever imagined. Guys, those are the four parts of this eight week YTA masterclass. And I don't know if you can hear my voice. I'm so excited for you guys to be able to dive into this because I've already seen all the videos that he's been creating and they're absolutely fantastic. So here's what all is included in the eight week YTA masterclass. Number one, you get a lifetime membership and access to this eight week YTA masterclass. You're gonna get access to all the videos where Devin's gonna be training you on those four parts. Number two, we're also gonna be giving you the done for you tools, softwares, templates, and even the YTA checklist to make YouTube automation even more simple for you. So you're going to be learning the tools you need, the softwares you need, some different templates you need for maybe thumbnails, other stuff like that. You're going to be getting all that stuff as well as the YTA checklist, which basically means if you check off every single box on the YTA checklist, you know your channel's fully automated, which is extremely, extremely helpful. There's things in that checklist I didn't even know had to happen before you had an automated channel. You're also going to be learning the SOPs to scale into an entire YTA empire because I don't just want you guys having one channel. I want you to have multiple. And as I said before, you need those standard operating procedures to be able to scale. We're going to be showing you guys that inside the YTA masterclass. And you're going to be also getting the YTA members only community. Now, this is something I didn't get to dive into a lot, but one of the things David did when he first started out is he actually uh, would connect with a bunch of other people that had YouTube automation channels and he would learn from them and you know he would teach them and they would all just connect and they would all grow together. They would be sharing different tactics and tips and all sorts of stuff like that. They'd be promoting each other's channels and that's the goal of the YTA members only community. And I'm really, really excited about this one because this means that I'm going to get to connect with you guys as well. I'm going to be in there consistently. And it's going to be awesome because all of us that are doing YTA together, we're going to get to grow together and grow our channels together and make sure we're getting this automated. And anytime you need questions, you need support, you're just in the middle of something and you just need somebody to be able to talk to, you're going to have that community to go to. And you're also going to be getting the maximum wage mentality, which is also extremely exciting. This is something that I filmed with my business partner, Ryan. Ryan generated $50 million plus online. He was behind the number one launch in internet uh, history. He's done so many amazing things. And me and him sat down for literally hours and hours during one week and just filmed video after video explaining the mentality it takes to actually win. Because it's one thing to have the vehicle, right? It's one thing to have the plane, but it's a whole other thing to have the mentality and be the pilot it takes to be able to operate that plane. And that's what the mentality is about. It's making sure you have the correct mentality in order to be able to operate your YouTube automation channels the right way and in order to be able to do this vehicle the correct way and know what it takes and how you need to think while you're doing YouTube automation because there's a lot that goes into it mentally. I'm going to tell you guys stories about when I met Arnold Schwarzenegger and like what he told me mentally. There's a mentality it takes to win and we're going to be showing you guys the mentality it takes to make maximum wage. So guys, the master class has already started and your first set of lessons are waiting for you in there now so you can start. Just watch the videos and follow along with me and Devin as we create and automate your first YouTube channel together. By the time training is done, we have one simple goal, and that's that you have a, you've set up one or more profitable automated YouTube channels. See, that's what we're about. We're about one thing, and that's results. We created this with no other goal, not even looking good. Whatever. Our goal is very simple. We want to get you guys results, and that's that. And the real result you want is that profitable automated YouTube channel. So you're probably asking, what about the price? Well, if you want to work with Devin and do one-on-one -on -one coaching, he personally charges $20,000. That's why I'm writing him a $100,000 check for him to create the eight-week YT Masterclass, which he's never done before. That way today, you can get started for a fraction of that. You can get started today for just five nine seven two payments, or nine nine seven if you want to pay in full and go ahead and save $200. So if you guys want to join the Masterclass, all you have to do to get started is just go here by clicking the button below. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure this is a completely safe decision for you. A lot of people tell you you got to make sure you take a risk, and I do believe that, but I also believe that that safety is a very basic human need. I want to make sure you guys feel safe in this decision. So that's why I'm going to give you my YTA promise. If this doesn't work for you in the first 30 days, you can have 100% of your money back, no questions asked. I don't feel like we should make money unless you make money. I'm just making it to where there's literally no way you can lose here because it's very, very important for me. All you have to do is reach out to us. We'll give you a full refund. Won't even ask questions about it. So once again, here's how to get started. After you register and hit submit, You'll be taking a login page for the YT Masterclass members. And inside of there, you're going to have all of your content. You're going to be able to go through the four parts of this. And I'll, oh, actually, I have one more cool thing to show you guys, by the way. If you guys join by the end of training, we're also going to throw in some fast action bonuses. Now, when I first created these fast action bonuses, I only had three of them. But then I kind of got a little bit carried away, and now there's 10 facts action bonuses for all of you guys who join by the end of this live event today, on top of everything else you guys are going to be getting with the YTA Masterclass. Now, the way that I actually created these facts action bonuses, I literally just thought in my head, what else would someone need to win? What else do they need for this to be an absolute no-brainer and a safe decision for them to be able to join the YT Masterclass? So Devin and I literally spent the last few weeks creating these bonuses. Then also I reached out to some of my friends who have done tens of millions of dollars online, and I had them throw in some stuff as well. So guys, take a deep breath. There's a lot that's about to be coming your way. I got 10 facts action bonuses for you. And this is just kind of our way of rewarding fast action takers because that's personally who we want in our community. 
So here's the first fax action bonus that you're going to be getting today if you join by the time this webinar ends. And that's that Devin will train your team for you. Now guys, this is a $1,997 value and it answers this question right here. How do you turn a few people overseas working for a few dollars an hour into a world-class content creation team that cranks out viral videos consistently? This is the answer. You let them watch training videos from Devin where he teaches them for you. See, I want this to be automated for you guys. I don't want you guys to have to go through the masterclass and then teach your entire team. I want you to be able to just give them videos where Devin teaches them for you. You see, Devin has a specific thing that he goes through and he teaches every single member that joins his team. And I'm just literally having him film videos where he teaches them as if it was his own team. You just show your team these videos and they're going to fully understand the entire YouTube automation process. They're going to understand everything from the script to the voiceover to the editing. And even if you have someone currently on your team, Devin can also train them as well inside these videos to manage your YTA team for you. That way it's passive income off the bat. So that's the first fax action bonus. The second fax action bonus is fun for free. Now, obviously I understand that a lot of you guys, when you first start out, you may not have the capital, just go ahead and do a video every single day. And I can't kind of hint it at you guys, the three ways to fun for free. And that's a fax action bonus you're going to be getting when you join YTA masterclass today. This is a $1,997 value. Now inside of this, you're making three videos. The first video is going to be showing you how you can get the team members to work for free on your first channel until it's profitable without taking on any debt or ripping anyone off even a little bit. Because that's the really important thing. There's ways to get your team members to work for free, but you're ripping them off. I want to make it to where it's a win-win for everyone and you can don't have to spend a dime until your channel is profitable. And in that video, we're literally going to walk you through how to do this entire first way that way you can fund your channel for free. The second video inside of here is that we're going to be showing you the other way to have someone fund your channel for you so you don't have to take on any risk, any uh, you don't have to risk any money personally. So you're not taking on the risk yourself. You're having someone else fund your channel for you, hire your team for you. They're going to spend the, pin the, uh, spend the money. All you're going to do is set up the entire channel. The third thing is we're going to be sharing with you guys an easy way to make the videos yourself until your channel is profitable enough to hire a team and automate your channel, even if you don't have the time to create a video every single day. So this is for someone who you maybe don't want to hire a team off the bat. You're just going to create the videos yourself. We're going to have Devin walk through you how you can do them yourself very simply, very easily, especially if you choose the right niche and you don't even, if you don't have time to create them every single day, we're going to show you ways where you can still almost post every single day, even if you're not creating videos every single day as well. And then inside of this, even though those are the three videos that talk about how to fund for three free, we're also going to be throwing in a bonus underneath this bonus, which is how to give every video you upload up to five extra chances to go viral. Now I explained this a little bit earlier, I basically said how there's a way where you can have 20 extra chances to go viral from just four videos with this method. And inside of Fun for Free, we're also going to be throwing in a fourth video, which is going to explain how you can do that as well. Obviously, this is not your Fun for Free, but this is how you can just do four videos and it has 20 chances to go viral. So it's almost like you uploaded 20 videos rather than four. It just makes sure you get the absolute best bang for your buck. Now, the third facts action bonus is you're going to be tripling through translation. Now, guys, this is actually a really cool one that my business partner came up with. And when we looked into it, it was something that all the biggest channels were already doing. Now, this one is a $197 value. And basically what we show you inside of tripling through translation is how to triple any channel through translating your videos into multiple languages and creating multiple channels for a fraction of the cost of just the first video. So we're basically going to be showing you guys the software that can translate your videos into multiple languages for you because three times the languages could mean three times the channels, three times the videos, three times the virality. It could even mean three times the money. And this is what some of the biggest channels do. Some of the biggest automated channels, they have multiple languages. I mean, there's one channel I know that has literally 10 different languages they do with videos. So they create one video and that's 10 videos for 10 different channels, all with just creating one video, which is something that I haven't really heard a lot of people do except the really big ones. I'm going to show you how you guys can do that off the bat inside of this facts action bonus. The fourth facts action bonus you're going to be getting is monetizing outside of monetization. Now this one's a $797 value. And as I told you guys before, I went extremely viral on Facebook, which doesn't have that magic button, right? I had 42 million people read from a single video that I didn't spend a dime on. And I had to figure out how I made that video profitable, how I made my Facebook profitable and how I can make money because Facebook wasn't going to pay me. So I had to get creative on how to monetize outside of monetization. And I got to the place where an hour of my time was worth $60,000 plus. In fact, I even got one video that I created, 60 second video. It made me over $250,000. And inside of monetizing outside of monetization, I'm going to show you guys what I did to monetize outside of having that magic button because I didn't have it at the time that made me over a million dollars by the age of 16 years old. And even Devin's going to share with you guys in there other ways to make money with your automated YouTube channels 
besides YouTube just paying me money. I mean, this is one channel right here that Devin had where he got $5,000 for a single sponsorship and there's multiple other ways. In fact, there's three that I can think of on top of my head of how to make money from YouTube channels outside of just the check that YouTube ends up writing to you. So that's a very cool one where me and Devin are gonna show you how to monetize outside of monetization so that you're making more money on top of the money that YouTube is paying you. The fifth tax action bonus is YouTube advertising mastery. Now this one's a $997 value and there's one thing that I know for a fact and that's that advertisers can make big money. In fact, I was actually talking to someone at Arnold Schwarzenegger's house in California, and they had actually made $100 million plus from YouTube ads. That's the power of YouTube ads. I mean, there's a reason advertisers can afford to pay you lots of money. So that's why I got basically reached out to my friend, a really close friend of mine. His name is Brian Moncada. He's generated $30 million plus from YouTube ads alone, and he's going to basically teaching you guys YouTube advertising and how you can run YouTube ads for your business. Now, I know a lot of you guys already are running Facebook ads, but the truth is your friends are on Facebook and your customers are on YouTube. YouTube. See, when someone goes to Facebook, they're wanting to see their friend's post. They're wanting to see the newest baby their friend just had or the dog that, this, that their friend just got. That's like that's why they're there. They're just scrolling through it really, really fast and they have maybe a minute of free time and they're just kind of catching up with all of their friends. That's what, that's what Facebook is. It's a place for friends. But your customers are on YouTube. You see, every single day, your customers are searching on YouTube for solutions to the problems that they have. And if you could just appear and say, hey, listen, I have this solution for you, instead of you having to scream in their face on Facebook, which is basically what you have to do when you run an ad, it's like you're just basically interrupting their time and trying to connect with friends and you're screaming at them. On YouTube, it's like your customers are screaming to you, asking you for solutions. I mean, the way I kind of think about it is like, imagine going to a coffee shop. And you just yell to the coffee shop, buy my product. Let's say you're a chiropractor. You're like, you need to, you need to hire me as your chiropractor. You're just screaming to the coffee shop. You're probably not going to get that many sales. But if you walk by someone and you hear two friends and they're kind of just chatting a little bit about how one of them has back pain, you can tell they have back pain. You just go up and say, hey, I'm a chiropractor. Would you like me to help you with that? And they go, oh my goodness, of course I would. That's how YouTube works versus Facebook. YouTube is where your customers are already at and they're looking for solutions to your problem. And that's how you can get them to say, shut up and take my money. And then I just want an excuse to throw this in there because I like that photo. All right, the six facts action most you guys are getting, I told you guys, there's a lot that we're throwing in here on top of everything you're gonna be getting is YTA investing. Now this is $997 value and inside of YT investing, we basically show you how to find automated YouTube channels that are already profitable, that already have teams in place and how to contact them and what to say in order to buy or invest in their channel and how to most importantly, make sure it keeps running when you own it. Now this one's really, really important because I know a lot of you guys, you view this as a investment opportunity. I mean, maybe you guys have a massive portfolio of investments already. I mean, I know there's probably people watching this, you have $50 million worth of real estate. Cause I'm gonna tell you guys, and I encourage you, put some of your money into YTA. I literally have already recommended this to some of my mentors who do real estate. I'm telling them, listen, invest in some YTA channels because you can't really name another investment where you can maybe get a thousand percent interest, but that's possible with YouTube. And it's an investment that literally creates new income producing assets every single day. So we're gonna show you guys how you can actually reach out to channels that are already working and just make sure it keeps running even when you buy them. That way you don't have to do the work on your own. And we're even gonna show you how you can hire someone to go through the training and do the entire process for you. I mean, I know some of you guys, maybe you have team members, maybe you're just thinking about hiring someone. You can get the, you can invest in YTA Masterclass, become a part of this. You can really just hire someone to go through the entire thing for you. All you need to do is just watch the one video that we put in there about YT investing, about how you can make sure they actually run the entire channel for you and do the entire process for you as well. Okay, so the seventh facts action bonus. I told you guys, we love to reward fast action takers. We're gonna be throwing in YTA channel flipping secrets. Now this is a $497 value. And basically what we're gonna show you is how to get an investor or media company interested in buying out your channel so you can make a year's worth of profit up front. And this is something we didn't have time to dive into today, but basically there is a way where if you get your channel profitable, you can go to someone and say, listen, I have all this passive income, pay me for a year's worth of it, and I'll give you the entire channel for free. We're gonna walk you guys through that entire process of how to get someone to buy out your channel that we can just produce assets and sell them as well. There's an entire opportunity because there's honestly so many ways to use YouTube automation to make money that you guys still don't even know about. All right, the eighth fast action mode. So this one's actually really exciting for me because this is a personal one that would, this is the one that would entice me if I was watching. This is the one that would encourage me to want to have joined the YTA Masterclass and that's seven, uh, that's sorry, that's celebrity automation. Now celebrity automation is a $497 value. And here's one thing I want to make sure of. Obviously during this presentation, I told you guys about how what the opportunity is with YouTube automation. I told you guys about the opportunity behind doing faceless channels because you don't have to be the one in front of the camera and it's the easiest one to scale and you don't have to be the one doing it. It's easy to automate. But at the same time, I know there's a lot of you guys who you love being in front of the camera 
Or maybe you just feel like you have something to say, or you have something you're passionate about that you want to talk about. And I would never want to discourage you from doing that just because it's easier to maybe automate it if you're not the one in front of the camera. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to get around the old way of being a celebrity YouTuber. Get rid of all the things I told you guys about buying extremely expensive uh, you know, equipment, coming up with the ideas, sitting in front of a camera for hours and hours. We're going to basically get rid of all of that stuff for you and allow you to talk about what you're passionate about, do what you love, be in front of the camera, let off your personality, grow your personal brand, but with the new way. You see, with the new way, it's much more simple. All you have to do is step in front of the camera, talk about what you're passionate about, and literally the rest happens for you, and you can actually go viral. See, all celebrity automation is, is it's just being in front of the camera, plus having an automated YouTube channel. So you step in front of the camera and everything else is automated for you. That's the actual goal of celebrity automation. You don't wanna to have to be the one that's editing the videos. You don't have to be the one that's even uploading them. All you wanna do is talk about what you're passionate about, be in front of the camera, send it off, and have an entire team automate the rest of the process for you, which is really, really exciting. Something that I'm personally doing for my personal channels now, and something that I'm gonna to recommend to so many other personal brands out there as well. So inside of celebrity automation, there's three things that we're gonna be talking about. Number one, we're gonna be talking about how to actually automate celebrity channels. That way you can just step in front of the camera, everything else happens for you. We're sure how to set the team, etc. You're also gonna be learning how to be good on camera, even if you currently are. I'm gonna be sharing you guys some of the things that I've learned with being on camera, with how many different videos I've filmed, and what I kind of do in my mind before I step in front of the camera that I know millions of people are about to see what I'm creating. I'm gonna share with you guys how to be good on camera, even in situations like that, and just how to be good on camera where you connect with your audience, to where you're able to influence them, to where you're able to really connect with them on a deep level, all those things that we talked about inside of celebrity automation. And we're going to show you this one's actually really cool as well we're going to be showing you guys how to create a celebrity automation agency now this one is, is super interesting because i know what you're learning inside of yt masterclass is a skill right you have this skill of doing automated channels so there's actually a way for you to look for the for you to approach the people that you look up to maybe it's a role model maybe it's an influencer maybe it's a celebrity that you really look up to whoever it might be there's a way for you to be able to approach them and say listen i'll automate your channel for you i'll do celebrity automation for you i'll run it for you i'll do, you know, I'll set up the team for you. I'll do all that stuff. All we have to do is just split the profits and you step in front of the camera. This is a really cool thing, a way for you guys to connect with celebrities, a way for you guys to make some extra money, a way for you guys to produce a side income. It's just a really cool thing that's basically just using a celebrity automation agency to where you approach personal brands, you approach celebrities. Once again, guys, there's so many different ways to make money with automation, but you just approach celebrities, you automate the channel for them, and you split profits, which is super neat. Uh, is a super neat bonus. Facts, action, motives number nine is we're throwing in how to get your channel monetized. This is $297 value, and this one's extremely simple. We're just gonna help you learn how to buy a monetized channel so you don't lose out on your profits in the beginning. Because you wanna make sure you start off the gate. Like if you guys don't wanna lose out on the profits day one, we're gonna show you guys just how to buy it. I know I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but we're gonna show you guys who to reach out to, how to get everything transferred over when it happens. We just don't know what you guys have to lose out on the profits. So we're gonna show you guys how to buy a monetized channel. Now guys, this bonus is absolutely one of the most exciting and one of the ones that I need to be thanked for the most because for me to be able to make this happen for you guys was a very, very big deal, but it's all good. You guys will just thank me for the results that you get from it. Now this one is we're gonna be getting this highest CPM and most profitable niches. This one's easily a $2,997 value. Honestly, that's just kind of being conservative. This is absolutely the hardest thing to get Devin to share. And what's gonna be shared inside of this is the niches that blow up the fastest, the niches that are the most sustainable long-term, the niches that are unpredictable but win big, the niches that are consistent and safe, that have low reward, the highest CPM niches that pay the most per view, the lowest CPM niches that go insanely viral. So maybe you don't get paid the most per view, but they go really viral so you could actually end up making more money in the long run. Basically, Devin is gonna share with you guys the niches that absolutely work the best because like you've heard throughout this entire thing, one of the most important parts is the niche you choose. That can be the difference between a successful channel and not. That can be the difference between all sorts of different things, like how much you get paid per video, how cheap your team is. It's very, very important. If you guys pick a really good niche, you will get momentum off of the bat. But the thing is, we can only do this for people that literally join by the time I say my final word on this live event today. By the time this presentation is done, you have to join before then because Devin's only let me get this out to a small, small handful of people. And it took a long conversation to make this happen for you guys. But I am excited for those of you guys that join by the end of this training, by the time this presentation is done, we're going to be throwing that in as a fast action bonus, which is really exciting. How many of you guys are excited? about that one, by the way. I feel like that one's going to be a really big one, especially with how much I mentioned niches. You guys have the opportunity to actually get them. And then don't forget, like I said in the very beginning, we're actually throwing in an extra, extra fast action bonus. This one's only limited to 10 people. And I'm going to click the button now before I even tell you what that thing is, because I know people are going to flock to this one. And that's that we are giving away 10 monetized channels for free. That means a minimum of a thousand subscribers and 4,000. I'm excited for that one. Like I definitely want you guys to make sure to post inside the community when you go through the mentality, what you guys